Hello, everyone, and welcome to the best of Matt Connerton Unleashed, Volume 29. And this best of is special for a few different reasons. Number one, because we haven't done one in a while. Number two, it's the first best of, officially, of the COVID-19 stay-at-home era. (laughs) And number three, this is the first best of Matt Connerton Unleashed to feature a specific theme. And the theme is arguments. You're going to hear some of the best arguments from the history of the show. Because what better way to calm your fears and soothe your worries in these challenging times than listening to people yelling at each other on the radio? (laughs) Uh, And this is only part one. So enjoy. (laughs) I'm I'm gone now. (laughs) Oh, yes, yes. But, but I might turn into Matt Connerton later on. Oh, you can't do if Matt Connerton. I know I've been working on it. No, you it. can't. I've I heard I Is heard you it? one more. I heard you one morning. Pieces, pieces, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you one morning on the morning show, and uh, yeah, you you did a little bit of uh, a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've never heard anyone really do a, a, an impression of me. So I was actually uh, but very it flattered. It doesn't sound like you. And, and I've been focused on my time on the Hopwood one anyway. But I mean. One would say an impression is very, very. See, my sister had a great impression of me. <laughs> the only person that could do an impression of me is uh, Elizabeth Rob. Oh right, I've I've seen. Yeah. yeah, her impression of you is pretty good. Actually, because she draw. You have to draw. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. You're not drawing. What a, what a gentleman! He just leaves his. <laughs> oh my God! There's some naked man outside. Oh no! Oh, well, is he coming I guess back? That's why. He's I got putting it. the Cox and Wilcox. Is right. he doing a wardrobe change? Is this what's happening? <laughs> Gonzo, you've got to have Maybe boundaries. Maybe he's going to come as Gonzo. <laughs> oh. You've got to have oh. boundaries. Yeah, you just got to roll in the mud and then uh, Can you cry have a list. You? <laughs> <laughs> Hello to uh, Shannon McGuire, who joins us in the Facebook Live chat. You can. Yeah. You want me to cry? Why, yeah, has anybody ever cried. cried on the radio before? Uh, Apparently, uh, yes. Apparently, and, uh, somebody's very good at John it. John Hopwood finds it hilarious. <laughs> it oh, was uh, funny. Yes. It was pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, I, I've, I've spoken to Eric privately about that incident, and that was all real. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was no showbiz <laughs> whatsoever on that. Yeah. And it, the di- Who did you talk to? Eric. Oh, Easy G. Not what's his name, Daryl. What's his name, what, Daryl? What's his face, Daryl? The morning show, he was all high on painkillers, too. So he oh. was, yeah, he admitted oh. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a, oh. That's right. I forgot so about that. He did say I'm that. I'm thinking yeah. he had a rough day. That's all, you know. You yeah. gotta, you, we've all had rough days. We've all cried. Oh, yeah. You were on stuff like that. John, you cried you the other act. day to me. Oh, I cried when you were hmm. uh, screwing my show up. Yeah. <laughs> Why? We're bringing a child on? Jeez, <laughs> oh, yeah. She was a cute kid. Yeah. He, uh, John's like uh, the... Um, the lifeguard at the pool that just really hates kids. <laughs> well, no, the, she was flinging no herself running. around. We're under strict orders, you know, up in the studio that, you know, no, you can't damage any equipment or anything. Or Right, uh, uh, right. Uh, unlike other places where it's perfectly oh. fine to damage equipment. Oh, hello to uh, Brendan McCormick, who joins us in the Facebook live chat. And, Brendan, how are you? And on the couch, <laughs> out of breath. Oh, sorry, I'm late, dude. Ryan Ryan Gorman is here. By the way, Gonzo, I do enjoy your Ryan Gorman impression as well. That's oh, pretty good. Oh, you do an impression <laughs> of me? Pretty, bro, I haven't heard. <laughs> bro, you tell me Gonzo's doing it. Bro, oh yeah, Gonzo. Yeah, let me just bite my tongue off and tackle the lift. Oh, Gonzo. <laughs> Well, that, oh, was a, oh, that was good. Well, that's like, that was yo, good that's like Eminem. Kinda, kinda. That's like Eminem in uh, Eight Mile. He's, 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 he's taking sweet, away my only thunder today to... Uh, or, uh, <laughs> hey, text that. I'm going to be Stacy, right? It could be a guy or a girl. We just oh, go right back so to you agree. <laughs> I, I got no support for that. Hey, wow. You don't have support for it. You see Facebook Live? I got three likes about the Cheetah <laughs> character. I think he's got some legs, bro. <laughs> Cheatham's a bro. totally fabricated, by the way. Bro. Uh, bro, you, you ever know, my bit dude, again, bro. You want to hear my Gonzo impression? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dude, guys, guys, serious. no, I can't, you can't take what, what, Gorman? I'm just supposed to stand up for you on Peter's show? When I, I'm, just, I'm not going to do that. I can't, you can't take away my Thursday. I love my Thursday there. I, just, I, can't, I can't take away. Gorman, it's good for me to be there bro, every Thursday. You have no loyalty, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Peter White, bro. I love this. <laughs> I love this. Oh, Peter knows. Peter knows, bro. 
Ask Peter White what he'd be without <laughs> Amsterdam right now. I don't know if that was my exact. I don't know, Ryan. Like, it's probably I cliff just, notes. It doesn't really have anything to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we just are we just gonna do each other's parts? Yeah, that's what I thought we went. Yeah, yeah we that's, ended up doing that's that. Wonderful. So, yep. I love that. And I thought I was the mentor. <laughs> At least that's a cat at the Yo, VA. Yo, that is spot on, Hopwood. <laughs> no, the, he's not drawling. You got to no, draw. Hey, I don't Speaking mean to. Speaking of the VA, I don't mean to VA. break the fourth wall here, but uh, yeah, we, dude, we do What's that up? Stop the toe tapping and the stare downs. Toe We're breaking your nuts. I was, uh, I was uh, yeah. is that a loss? the I last time we were talking about how much I talk over you. I, so well, I was ready to mm-hmm. uh, let you talk to Matt. Yeah, no, it was because way. I kept calling you a turd. I don't care about the. Yes, you do. Mike Doyle. Turd is nothing. He's like a whole new Hopwood. Mike Doyle uh, told him his life's a mess, and oh, uh, that's Hopwood, was, nice. Hopwood was fine with it. That's not nice, Doyle. Are you talking about Mike Doyle, the high and mighty Mike Doyle? You see, I look, I have <laughs> observed everyone from above. Yeah, a real funny dude. <laughs> right, right. Just answer the question. Answer yeah, the question. Ryan, Why can't anybody answer the question yeah. about the, the tariffs? Uh, Ryan and the, uh, all these things were... Oh, just That's I want Doyle. you to just tell Ryan me is, Gorman is, is, an idiot. is Trump a good, is Trump a a a good role model for females? You have daughters. I have daughters. Hey. No, he's not. Mike Doyle. Hey, why can't you answer the question, Gorman? Why can't you answer? Because I don't really know the answer. That's why I can't answer that question. If we could put them both together, then you'd you have the perfect Mike Doyle. Because that's what he says. <laughs> Mike's going to Joyce no, Craig's inaugural with a MAGA. He, uh, he did. Headband. He did. Oh, it, it's already been held? Didn't you go to that? Wasn't that? No, he's going to the uh, mayor ball with it. The right? mayor's ball. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. I thought the inauguration just happened. It's a ni- nice way to uh, honor the first mayor, sure. woman mayor of Manchester. Sure. Yeah. Is it really? Can you no. name, hey, can you name <laughs> the first mayor of Manchester without looking it up? Uh, Benoit. Nope. This Who they be named Benoit balls. Ball, nope. After. And, and, and I only know years. this because. My friend Ollie and I um, were talking about, uh, he, he's a uh, Bisham uh, Realty. He's like the younger brother. And we were talking about opening a coffee shop at one point when I had, uh, I thought that was going to be the move. That's what ADD <laughs> does, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but we thought a good name for it was the, was the name of the first mayor of Manchester, which was uh, Harem Brown. Wow. Oh. And then we didn't really do much research on him. And you probably shouldn't name something after somebody unless you know, like, that's true. You know, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He could have been a tyrant for all I know. We have a call. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Oh, uh, yes. Hi. Did someone want to ask me uh, where I would be without Amsterdam? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm, sh- I'm turning my microphone off. Bro. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to sit back. Yeah. Did someone want to ask me that? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. We'll, go, we'll go, address go. this off the air. Here, right? <laughs> no. Ah! No, go, go on. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let the real Ryan talk to you. No, Peter, well, it sounds like you're calling in with an attitude. Why are you calling with an oh, attitude? Oh, no, I'm definitely not calling in an attitude. I'm actually calling in to thank you. Yeah, thank you. Because, yeah, yeah. as you know, you, you and John Manning and I, we got a honorable <laughs> mention with the Hippo Press, correct? We did. Uh-oh. We did. Uh, for the first year. And well, then I believe so was... as soon as you left in 2013, which is quite a while yeah. ago, sure, we made it. To second place. Yeah, that was long. But hey, okay. If, hey, if you want to start going yeah, down this thank road, Pibbit P- and Joel Elber oh, also oh, because uh, that's no, what no. most people think Amsterdam is. Oh, you mean a, a diet, bored down, local, regular, run of the mill show? Wow. Of course yeah, they boy, do. We won All some right, well, listen. We're doing great now. But, yeah, you know uh, you are. You're good doing work, great, Ryan. You do. Oh, you're just going to talk work. and you're then hang up, bro. Job. Those are great characters you got there. Yeah, Peter. At least I get out and I do something. What What have you done? What have you done? Have I, okay. Answer That's no no. Right. Answer me this, great. Peter. If say you want to call in first of all, okay? first thanks, of all, if you want to call in and say something that's not true. <laughs> Come you, on, dude. You're not Come that on. good. You're not that you're not good. Be realistic. Look at all right. you and Let, look at me. Are you kidding me right now? Peter White's the king. All right. <laughs> let's 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 start with this. Let's start with this. Uh your highness. I'm scared right now. He's the father of Manchester Radio. So you're saying you got runner, you got runner up after I left. No, he got second place. That's runner up for we got second, four we got years. Second place next to New Hampshire's Chronicle. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. The moron. show continued for hey, like 
a long time. Hey, after hey you. Pete, since you want to call in all in all, all high and mighty, why don't you know I'm your not facts? Calling in high and mighty. Yeah, you I'm are, wanna, you know, dude. I, I just, listen, I dude, just high. Listen, <laughs> that you should really be proud of. What? Oof. Wait, dude, do you want to really go down this road with me on the air? I think we're down that road right now. Right? <laughs> I, you've got to be kidding. I'm going to start crying. I, I don't know what I'm going down the road. I, oh, I don't know. You're I, the one I, I don't know. The, I don't said, know. where would I be without Manchester? Uh, am I the well, one that's, am I the one that's set? Everyone Peter. knows where I am. I've had a pretty successful morning show for almost four years. a good Greg Gorman impression. Oh, oh, hold on. You're saying I so said I, that? I, or are you saying Gonzo said it and your ego got so hurt that you called in? Where did Manchester get you? How, where did Manchester get me? Are you serious? It's it's gotten me. It's gonna. Yeah, I'm asking you a question. Yeah, There's and I'm gonna answer you your think question first. Than that. You're on the radio. Hey, <laughs> dude, maybe if I had the power that you have right now to shut your microphone off so I could say a word, moron. Listen Why? to me. Why? You Why? just said you, I'm gonna get said, upset because you, you you're on the air lying, answer. moron. I'm calling to answer your question. I'm you know calling to I answer am. your question. You know where I am. I'm right here. Do all right. So shut your mouth for a minute and listen, so you can get your facts straight before you start taking digs at me my using my straight. yo using my straight. stand up exactly bits at, as are. against me on the air. You're the one that's that right. seems to be a little bit mixed up. Oh, dude, I'm a little pissed off right now at your arrogance for having done. Why would done... you be so angry? Why would you be so angry? All right, you know what? I'm gonna let you keep talking until you can shut your mouth for a second and listen. Oh. Are you done? Are you going to keep yapping over me like you do all the time? Okay, come on. Let's hear it. What do you got? Okay. For starters, we got runner-up, dude, <laughs> the second year. So let's, let's, let's go with that, okay? Now, where would you have been, Peter, since you want to say that I just said that, which I didn't? That was Gonzo saying it. And so you're taking th- third part. To th- have I ever said something okay. close to that? Come on. Yeah. Say it. Just say it, Gorman. Stop, say- stop stumbling. Just say it. <laughs> Am I stumbling? Dude, I can do that to you, too. No, no, just say it. Say it. Listen. By the way, this well, is me doing a Peter mumbling. White impression over say the phone. <laughs> you're, say, you're mumbling. Just say it. I think it. you should stop crying just now. Say it. Just say it. You're, you're lazy. Oh Let's my start God. with that. Jesus. Let's start what with that. You're lazy. Here? You never did anything for Manson. I, I had to get it off. I asked you for help. You never would do it. You never would do it. Nothing. I couldn't get you to well, do yeah, anything. Because you were never there. You were getting arrested in the back <laughs> alley. <laughs> I mean, is that a yeah. true story? No. Yes. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and Pete, on, you, you were, Pete, and you weren't with us? Don't, don't, don't blame me no. for all your oh, shortcomings. Oh, 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 oh. Please. She's going to talk over me. Oh, That's Pete. all I'm saying. Don't blame me for your shortcomings. That's My all. shortcomings? Pete, dude, I'm a thousand times more talented than you. Shut up. Are you okay, kidding me? Yeah, you're doing great. I, and what are you doing, bro? You haven't worked since you I'm got your fire from UPS. I mean, I'm not saying who's more talented. No, so you admit I'm more talented. And he is an employee here. Hey, Pete, That's all I've been I've been running the same game you you did for a long time. What are you talking about? Not working and uh, he, like he works living here. Off work. He so, works here at Manster at WMNH. <laughs> Pete, you want you want to get like smart ass with me, dude? Like I don't want to compare anything with yeah, you, except I'm for the saying, fact that you said where would I be? I for, really do wish you well. Uh, I really, and, and really that's do. it. You're gonna hang. You know up? I do. Okay, then then I'll be able to finally. But say I, more. Like, just don't blame me for your shortcomings. That's dude, all. We know you've had a tough time. <laughs> we know you've had. I've had, dude. I've had a lot of life you lessons know, that it's were tough great. To live with it, your parents all those years, I get it. Yeah, I got three kids that I take care of, Peter. Okay. I know you have. Three I know kids. you have. Dude, I if know, you were here dad. right now, I'd get a step ladder so I could whack you. Why in the do chin. I feel like he is here? <laughs> you know, come on, Jeez, don't let don't. The reviews well, are don't coming. Don't let me in. ruffle your feathers, Ryan. Come on. Oh no! The only reason you're ruffling my feathers is because don't. you're doing oh, the same. See, oh, he's doing what Peter White does. I'm just best. telling you. He's don't blame me for all your all your problems. That's all. No, I'm not blaming you for you, all I'm sorry of them. Just this one, dude. Okay. You don't have you don't have the. You don't have the platform I do. I apologize. Oh, but you're if right. If you work hard, I'm... you can do it too. <laughs> All right, Peter. Uh... He is good at uh, patronizing little things. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> you, are you still there, Peter? Or do you hang up? Oh no, I'm right okay. here. No, I'm fine. No, so <laughs> I, well, I you appreciate you. I I just, you know, would never be a good time. But you have to give you Peter, you know, man, they gave him a morning. So if, if, you would, if, you would, if you would let me talk, yeah. if you would let me talk, we would have gotten to that. He wanted to know what, no, Peter, you would not, ha- like, you would not be I'm where not you are. I'm not putting you down. I'm not putting you down. I'm just saying you better, you know, you can do a lot. You can do a lot more. You just got to concentrate on one thing. 
Right. Uh, well, no, I know. But if you had a, a brain as gifted as mine, they, it, it bounces around everywhere. So, you know, you I, know, I, I just can't, thought it's, we it's were hard. friends. That's all. No, I did too. And, and I thought friends wouldn't do what you and do I, you to know, me all I'm the time. I'm not trying to ruffle but, your feathers here. No, oh, it's, just gonna keep it's all talking. Gonzo's fault. Which you know, which, which is fine because <laughs> I did a great Gorman I, impression, apparently. <laughs> which is fine. You got to work on me though. The draw. No, his pop would have spot on. No, he wouldn't not. dare do his Peter White. Anyway, you deflect me back to Peter. He, he yeah, did do his Peter White. <laughs> he, he wouldn't dare do his Peter White. But Peter White was giving the morning show because yes, you know, because like of his talent, because of uh, they no, trusted no. him. And, and if he would let me talk, oh, he made if he would let me talk, if you can give it out, you can take it too, dude. Come on, wait, wait, bro, you of all people can't take it. Stop it, stop. You can't take it. You can't. You stop it. <laughs> you should just tap your toe and stare at Dude, somebody. that was fun. Let's all hey, end listen, this. you guys are running out of time. I love all of you. Thank you. And I love Running you, too. Everybody. And I would love to be able <laughs> so to say, that. What, we give this to Ryan. Uh, all right. Thank you, that Peter. That was awesome. Now, now, that was John Manning calling <laughs> as Peter White. <laughs> <laughs> That was like, uh, it was kind of like watching my parents fight, except <laughs> enjoyable. Because yeah. uh, yeah, no, that's nobody, good radio. That was good radio. He's that, really good at that undertone he, oh, thing he does. Yeah, yeah. No, Ryan, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, like I couldn't get a word. Listen, Matt, may I have 30 seconds to say what I meant by that? I was irritated that Peter does nothing but dog on me when I, when I come in. Every time. It gets old for me. It gets old. But what do you... So, but what, so, hold on. So okay. all I was saying when I said roughly what Gonzo said, I wasn't even the one that said it. Gonzo said it today. Yeah. Uh, is that, listen, he wouldn't have the morning show if I didn't Ooh. go out and create Mansion Name in the first place. That's all I was saying. Because he wouldn't have gone out and done just... I, I gave an opportunity to my friends, which that show wouldn't have been anything without those. Are you kidding me? That's not what I was saying. It wouldn't have been what it is. But my point is, at yeah, least I got to out sound and like went a company man he's here, the though, chap. he's done well he's since done, he's had it. Did I ever say that he had it? You're like saying well. if Bill Belichick wasn't born, then yeah, no, Bill no. O'Brien wouldn't have a coaching job. That's, Cause dude, technically no, it'd be the, uh, the Giants, uh, yeah, one that Belichick and, and, is coach and, for. And Gonzo. That's the better it, simile or whatever. Is right. it? Is it not... True that I've come to a realization. Like, yeah, dude, I I ruined that for myself. And you played and right into I just, what he wanted you to do. Ja- I lose do your just mind want to point out. He's Jack do- Parr to Tony Carson. Jesus. <laughs> Jack Parr. He <laughs> created the Tonight Show. Okay. Jack Parr created right, the right, Tonight right, Show. Dude, yes, exactly. Right. That's right. what I was trying to say. Exactly. Trying to help you here. You, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not at all. <laughs> like you're literally helping Peter right now, but by, by why? Because he's Johnny. Carson? No, because I'm no, because I'm exploding at you now. Because you won't shut you. You, you no. yeah, it's the worst time. Peter is, you know, like God here. So you know, we genuflect towards him. Well, you he, say that right in front of Connerton. That's mean. Well, he is. No, no, but Peter, no, he's, he's smaller the, yeah, than P- him. Peter. Peter keeps Peter keeps this whole thing running. Yeah. He, he is the yeah, lifeblood of, of the organization. Listen. He's and in, when, works here. Good. When I've had a conversation with Gonzo in like confidence and just like venting about things that bother me that uh, are now public information, oh. which I would have talked to Pete. I didn't never. I don't have a problem with Pete. I had a problem with myself, and I okay. came to the realization that like I ruined that for myself anyway. But you can't take and, it away from what he's done here. Though. That's I, my point. Freaking was just in the middle of saying that you and he wasn't that. <laughs> Bl- Listen to this ball kisser. Right he wasn't that yeah, on me. Yo, no, I'm just you saying. act like he wasn't even good on Instagram. He was good on that too. I, that, is out, that is an out and out lie right oh. there. That is a bold faced lie right there. I said he wasn't oh, that he good on he, Instagram. He, he, Dude, if I said yeah. he wasn't that good, I meant about helping with production aspects. He would show up and talk. That's so. He's a great host. I'm the worst That's, at like trying to meet me. Dude, in the dude, dude, right, right. Like, <laughs> yeah, what you just said is grossly inaccurate. I, I've never said Peter wasn't good on me. I said he wasn't good at helping with production stuff like that because he didn't want to be. He actually said he. Never mind. <laughs> what? Go ahead. Go he said something so, about he didn't have his talent or whatever. Can you say it is Ryan Gorman? Just talking crap, dude. Say it is Ryan just Gorman. Talking crap, no. <laughs> Well, let's uh, let's catch up with the Facebook live chat. So, Je- <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's going off the rail. Jenny said, uh, "Please pass the popcorn." Uh, Robert Dion, who of course is part of the WMNH family, joins oh, he us. He must love this. <laughs>
Ed Murphy uh, says, L and I are on Team Peter. Oh. Uh oh. People are coming out with hashtag Team what about Peter. What Stacy? Uh, <laughs> uh, Jenny says, Breathe. Uh, Ed Murphy says, Matt, I've contacted the bouncers from McGarvey's to intervene. <laughs> uh, Jenny says, Get a divorce. Uh, no, I love Peter. I said, nothing. I mean, it's Can't we all just get along? Give we peace a chance. We do get along until Gonzo shows up. Tom Blanchard uh, joins us in the Facebook Trouble live maker. chat. Uh, Robert Dion says, "Well, Gonzo really starting some serious <laughs> yeah, crap today. No kidding. <laughs> Everything totally was fine. Taking something I've said like n like, in and he said it in his voice. Like, just like Gonzo, these are the things that bother me lately. Like, and the kids like the opposite of a priest. You know, we all have. Dude, roles. I wish you were more like a priest and just had just like. I feel like my role is the edge. I'm like the um." The agitator, like a hockey player, you know, like uh, the Brad Marcian type. Ooh, uh, Joe Lar joins us in the Facebook live chat. I never see Joe in there. Uh, Joe says that was too much fun, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I I know Joe loves this kind of stuff. This is better than the crying. And uh, and Joe says Ryan may be more talented, quote unquote. Ooh. But Peter did earn his fame, yeah, quote unquote. Ab absolutely. Yes. And I was never saying that. Never. I agree with the second part of this. I, Peter's I, I, a rock. <laughs> the rock. No, listen, I <laughs> never said anything of the sort that he wasn't. Right. No, not, nothing ever said like that. Gonzo just like, and then Peter knows how to agitate well, me by, you know by, the by, real by doing Peter, that monotone listen, voice. No, I'm not going to listen to you. If you know the real Peter, again, I'm not going to listen to you. He's, he uses that money. Yeah, that's annoying. But that's it's amazing what man's damn annoying. success. Uh, Peter, and you were part of it. Peter in the Facebook live <laughs> chat, this is a little inside, but he says, I love you, Brian Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I love you as well, uh, Pat Rick. <laughs> uh, Angela Philbrook says, you realize this show could be triggering poor Eric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenny says, Gorman needs to watch himself after this. He's the one doing it. It's we true. could rename this the she Golden is, Turd. He is kind of the Hillary Clinton of the Wait, station. he's he's the one doing... Can we rename this Wait, the oh, Golden he, Turd? I, I don't, know, I don't get that. What out? does she mean? I think she means starting crap because somebody else said Gonzo because Robert Don said Gonzo was starting crap. I think she's saying that you're starting crap. I'm not sure well, if that's what she I means. I don't know what she's saying. I Apparently... I am starting crap by saying something to Gonzo in in in. in yeah, mean, go I'm, ahead. I'm disappointed I'll, I'll in I'll Matt right Connerton. He has the laugh, the crying uh, loop, and he didn't use it once. Guys, that was all a Dude. bit. The whole thing was a bit. <laughs> Gary Hamer just joined us. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all fake. Oh, okay. yeah, that was off stage. <laughs> oh, okay. Did Sorry. you right? Right. The crying loop. Just just Matt. like the crying. The crying. You have wow, it on a loop. Awesome. Yeah. It's amazing that, that Gonzo line. doing an impression of me and. Very we, it, we all of a sudden well, both just a started saying, keg, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> we just both all of a sudden started saying like real things to each other. Oh yeah, which is not smart. Not very many impressions oh, so going you, on. Oh, so we point. admit this is all real. Oh, I did. Yo, actually, I got a Peter. I'm sorry. By the way, I am sorry. I I I got really heated and started saying. Like, no, you guys, of course, you love each other. Of course, yeah. No, I do. I just friends. it just dawned on me that I just said something like awful, and I'm not going to repeat it. Yeah, yeah. I'll address that with Pete another time. Because it really was. I mean, I I, I enjoyed Dude, that. Dude, that needed to happen. I I, I wish it would have just happened in private. But I, I think uh -huh. Peter and I both know that yeah. it, it it might as well have just And Matt, you way. are great at giving people a rope. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> I am. Just so oh, I know. I, I, I learned that from listening to Howard Stern. You just let it happen. You know, growing up listening to Howard, you know, when there would be an argument, like, among the staff in the in the studio or something, and Howard would just kind of lay back and maybe interject a few things here and there to kind of keep things going. But he knew, you know, how to lay back and just let it happen. And that's something I learned from listening to him. And needle a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought it yeah, went back to Egyptian times. You to. You'll, turn, you'll turn a log over, yeah. and, you know, if you have to. No, but I, although I was serious with my comment when I said, like, I enjoyed that because it was great radio, but it also was uncomfortable in the sense of it, it kind of was like watching my parents argue. Yeah. You I, know, it was I, like, I, like genuinely love Peter White. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and I, dude, Th that God, God, I'm way on to Peter's take side, something by the way. Of, way to take something out of context. We all are, and, and we all are on really, Peter's side. Yeah. We're, we're on what? Peter's side. Absolutely. No, of course, of course you are. Why, why wouldn't you? Not Ange. He's I don't a, want to be Ryan Gorman. <laughs> he's a colossus of Manchester media. Colossus. Rob he bestrides the town like a colossus. Don't you agree? Uh, no, you're Gonzo? being patronate, patronizing. Patronizing. Yeah. Rob yeah, Dion says, I shouldn't blame Gonzo. I don't know for sure it was his fault, LOL. I joined late. Yeah, you. Yeah, he joined late yeah, yeah. because <laughs> you didn't hear him doing an impression of me and then 
and then mention something yeah, like... Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, Gonzo definitely said... Would you agree that you just started that? I've yeah, got a little bit. I was just trying to be you. Like, no, I'm not going to deny... you talk all the time. So. Uh, all the time. <laughs> can I give you Joel's phone all number? We can get him on the phone. Uh, you can ask Joel Oh, my to God. How did I not use that as, as ammo? Uh, probably because it worked. Can you do a Joel Elber, uh, Gonzo? No, I can't. It actually. goes back to Egyptian. Very times. unique, but I would have. I'd I'm love Manning's forty opinion, ice cream. You know, <laughs> Manning's opinion on this. Well, here, hey, we've got this. Uh... The traffic is good. That's it. <laughs> it's funny. I was thinking about that just today. No, but uh, you know what I see. What I always liked about Manstradam, I thought you and is P- that we won runner up well, after thought... the second year. <laughs> I thought you and Peter were a great team. And I mean this sincerely. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to be diplomatic. Agreed. I thought you and Peter were a great team because you kind of balanced each other out on the air. You were like yin and yang because you always were very energetic and <laughs> it hyper. Was just, it was that what you just saw? He was a now. drunk wild card and Peter reined it in. Yeah, yes. sort of. And, yeah. And of course. <laughs> and Peter was, Peter was like the laid back guy and you were like the hyper guy. And I thought that balance really worked. I thought the chemistry there was outstanding. Yeah, and I, I I totally agree with that. That was the and only I, show that's must see TV on public. Like that was like sorry, Word Thirteen is great and all, but that show like ten o'clock. You're tuning in, man, to miss it. Yeah, especially during the whole height of the Gatsis thing and all that. Like that was. Yeah, they had their moment. Yeah. And, oh, and you know what? And now this, it's this over, is Ryan. another thing. No, this is it. <laughs> no, and I'm fine. Listen, Gonzo, I'll handle you off the. <laughs> where I'll remind you. Oh, you treated Gatsis worse than I did. Who me? Yeah. You know I, what? No, he's a he's a good friend of mine. You know what it felt like though. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It, you know what it felt like watching you guys argue. So you know, Kiss is my favorite band. There's a video on YouTube of Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons actually breaking down into a bit of an argument during an interview, which is super uncomfortable to watch. But that's also it was like that same feeling. It's like these are my heroes. And they're arguing in front of a camera, and it's fascinating, but it's also uncomfortable. No, I, I do what you know. What another thing that really set me off and made me like angry at Peter. Not doesn't mean I don't love the guy. Right. That, that I got angry at. <laughs> that I was like really kind of pissed off about is I had like taken and made like a bunch of buffers, like four or five different things, and sent them to him. And <laughs> listen. If you don't want to play him, that's that's cool. He, if he had listened to him, he would have wanted to play him. I know that much. Mm, right but under that, the that, DefCon scene. That he didn't. That, that's, <laughs> that's 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 another thing. And, and like I don't know, I don't know what goes on in Peter's life. Maybe he's that busy. But I found that to be a slap in my face. Like, dude, you didn't even listen to him. You didn't have time to listen to him. Mm. And uh, so I, I found that to be uh, yeah that that that, that uh, frosted my fanny so to speak. Now, Do you did, know that he, that would did he or didn't? Yeah, he, he told you he did he it. Straight up told me he did. Oh, okay. <laughs> so does this? Like, yeah, I haven't listened to him. Yet. So after today's events, does this mean that you uh, you're now in the same boat as Christian Lacoste and banned from the morning show? Ooh. Oh, no, no, I, ban, <laughs> banned or not? I had I had uh, only one man I, can ban a person from the station, and I have an email from him. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Well, I don't mean from the station. That's the I real just, god. Right I, there. I just mean from I just mean from the morning show. Um. Well, first of all, I. I it, I don't want to get, dude, I, <laughs> dude, I don't, I have no, I have had, I, I do now have a reason to go on the morning show if he wants to like discuss this aspect, but I, yes. I, I realize I've, I've, why do I want to go on the morning show where, where I can get, uh, Peter to use basically my entire stand up personality against me, like hmm. self, like my own self deprecating, like comedy I would do in stand up is the same attitude Pete takes with me on the air and I got to be honest, I'm really, I was sick and tired of going on the, on the air and be, like, just having to be the, the like town idiot, which, hmm. you know, which was very convenient for Peter to use right there. It took there. you long like, enough to realize oh, yeah. that. Jesus. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but it's in Gonzo, you are Judas. We all know that. You hey, li- literally oh, are. I'm a company you're, man. He, no, you're not. A, he's, a, he's literally a untrustworthy swine. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. <nice>. wow. <laughs> That's that's uh, unfortunate to hear. No, dude, he's the only one of my friends. You have to say, he has a rule. You have to say, please don't repeat this to anybody. I'm telling <laughs> yeah. you this. Really? He really does, really? or else he will. Really? Yeah, I I've learned that like me. five times. I do a times. good impression. What do you want from me? No, not only that. You can't tell him anything. 
Really? Yeah, if, if you don't want people to know about it, you can't tell them unless you say. Okay. Like spe- you know how much I know about you that I haven't told yet? Yeah. That oh. I probably that I probably yeah. had that I probably had already said. Make sure you don't say that to yeah. anybody. Yeah. See if you do that, it's like a magic word. He won't. Oh, it's like okay. a steel trap. Yeah. But if you do, oh, I'm like a schoolgirl in Seventeen oh, Magazine, awful. just like. <laughs> hey, did you hear about this? It's <laughs> awful. Yeah, I like a little gossip here and there. We all do. Oh, do you? Yeah, I like. <laughs> Today was good. I, I do too. Hey, look, good gossip. Dude. Yeah, this was great. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. I really wish I brought another shirt so I didn't have to wear this jacket. <laughs> Sweating to death. Well, we're we're about out of time, but uh, oh, you're kidding. Thank you, huh. gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, we have a call. Let's grab this really quick before we have to go. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Hey, it's your old friend Peter White. Yeah, hey, guys. <laughs> Peter White. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, I, I just wanted to throw something out there before you guys uh, close the show today. I figured I'd give a shout out to Gonzo, and I wanted Gorman to know that Gonzo is Gorman's Fredo, if you know what I'm saying. Uh. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Peter. Bye bye. <laughs> Peter White from the morning show with Peter White, which you can hear weekdays 7 to 9 a.m. with a replay from 2 to 4 p.m. right before this program. I had muted your mic, uh, John, because you left the room. Uh, but, uh, gentlemen, thank you. This has been, uh, and thank you to Stacey Wilcox, if you happen to run into yeah. him. It was yeah, nice, nice yeah. to meet him. Yeah. yeah those, <laughs> those, are great, those are great characters. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I don't think, uh, uh, I can't even think Cheatham's a, a great uh, character. Well, thanks, Hopwood. I appreciate he is. it. Oh, don't you worry. Those, I'm, hey, listen, they can't all be home runs right off the rip. I, I like Stacey Wilcox. And I like, uh, oh, you ought to see that's his private collection. And I, like, and I like sweet Ricky Cheatham. He's, uh, he's great. The best. Yeah. He's, uh, he's something else. Yes. Well, if you miss any part of today's show, it'll be up in just a little bit at WMNHradio.org. Are and, we going to uh, feud? No. We should probably feud. Yeah. Well, I thought we were in the first thought. Uh, that didn't really uh, come off. It's your fault. You're too passive. We'll come up with something. Rah. Jenny says, see, told you. Oh, no. That's well, not true. What, insanity? Come on down to the Hop Knot at 1000 Elm Street, Manchester's premier craft beer and gourmet pretzel bar. Tell us more, Trudy. We make our dough fresh every day. We make a variety of styles of pretzels and serve craft beer, cocktails, and a few bottles of wine. We do the traditional pretzel, and we have multiple flavors for that. We also do stuffed pretzels, pretzel sandwiches, free dessert pretzels, and pretzel knots. The Hop Knot in the Brady Sullivan Plaza at 1000 Elm Street. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the best of Matt Connerton Unleashed, Volume 29. And this best of is special for a few different reasons. Number one, because we haven't done one in a while. Number two, it's the first best of, officially, of the COVID-19 stay-at-home era. (laughs) And number three, this is the first best of Matt Connerton Unleashed, to feature a specific theme. And the theme is arguments. You're going to hear some of the best arguments from the history of the show. Because what better way to calm your fears and soothe your worries in these challenging times than listening to people yelling at each other on the radio? (laughs) Uh, And this is only part one. So enjoy. We have a call. Hi, welcome this to early? Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Hey, what's up, Matt? How's it going? This is Tony. Oh, hey, Tony. Wow, we usually hear from you late in the show. You're calling early. This is wow. great. What's going uh, on? Yeah, I know. I usually wait till the end, but I heard that intro. That intro was pretty cool regarding the uh, Christians. Oh, the uh, that's uh, Mrs. Betty Bowers. America's favorite Christian. Oh, really? Is that just regarding Christians? Well, what is it? Well, Mrs. Betty Bowers, so she's... Um, America's she's favorite Christian. America's best Christian. No, I'm oh. America's oh. favorite uh, Christian. Yes. That would be Billy Graham's son is the favorite. So, yeah, you can find oh, her You you can find her on YouTube. Cool. I, she's I a like satirist. That. That's pretty cool. Uh, um, are you also, also going to do something regarding Muslims? Mm. Or, hmm. Well, we don't make... That's a, or you that's don't a subject. Put anything about them or make fun of them? Well, I don't think the uh, I don't think Muslims are currently uh, oh, engaged oh. in a preposterous. Go ahead, uh, I, I didn't hear you. Right, I don't think the Muslims are currently doing anything that's uh, currently uh, like I I always uh, like to make fun of oh. the quote unquote war on Christmas because I think it's very silly. Oh, so, you, so 
So you're not making it fair for everybody. You're just picking on Christians, or you're just making fun of Christians. Or I'm not. Uh, are you going to make fun of everybody? Well, so, next well, week. Wait, let me let me answer his okay. question, John, because that's important. Uh, I'm not making fun of Christians. I'm making fun of the concept of the war on Christmas. Some of my best <laughs> friends it. are Christians. I just think like the whole me. war on Christmas thing is very, very silly, and I like to poke fun at it. Yeah. Oh, do you say Merry Christmas or do you say Happy Holidays? Just curious. Honestly, I don't really think about it much. I say get out of my way. Oh. I mean, if I'm, if I'm speaking to someone who, you know, I'm not a big holidays guy to begin with, so to be honest with you, I don't go oh. out of my way to say much to somebody. But if Did somebody, you ever get a present for Christmas? I've gotten many presents for Christmas. X M A S. Did you call it Happy Holidays or did you call it Christmas when you were little? Oh, I always called it Christmas. I was uh, raised oh, in a Christian right. home, and it was Christmas. Hey, listen, Catholic. I'm all open for you know all this stuff, and there's nothing wrong with it. Just make sure you make it even with everybody, and make sure we put on something about Muhammad. Why? That's, uh, and, uh, and some of the Muslims. T- Tony, Nobody's I don't know. insulting Buddha, Christ. Buddha and the rest of the guys. T- Tony, I don't know if you're aware of this, but that's not how comedy oh. and humor and satire work. There's no like equal time rule. Oh. Holy smoke! Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. There's I mean, you nothing could... funny about Islam and and Muhammad. Not to me, not particularly. No, that's not something oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna do. Really, I'm sorry. Oh, you should, you should try it. Though. You, you could... should try it. Why, oh, why not? Is, is that offensive to people? Uh, probably, yeah. Oh, and, and doing that towards Christians is not? I'm not doing anything toward Christians, Tony. I'm making fun of the concept oh, well, of the war sure on just Christmas. Make put on something about Muhammad. Why? No. Why, why are you, you know, you have this, you're not talking about Buddhists. You're not talking about Zoroaster or anything. Oh, you you have too. a, uh, can I say the word A-K-I-D-O-M? You have a There's thing about drug. Muslim, right? Just make right? sure we're doing it with everybody. That's all I'm trying to say. Why? Sure the listeners are probably saying the same thing, saying, Tony, you know, wow. There's 200 that's million that's Christians in America. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let, me, every, let me talk every to religion. you. Tony, right? Tony, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, fair? Tony, I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're probably, maybe you and one or two other people listening feel this way. When you say everyone else feels this way, I think that's uh, a <laughs> bit over the top, that's a don't bold you? General statement. Yeah, I, I think that I, I think what happens is a lot of a lot of the Christians, some of them are peaceful. You know, not. I mean, everybody's everybody has their own attitude and stuff like that. But you know what it is is that. They, they won't say anything. You know, I'm not afraid to say anything to anybody at any time. Sure. Whether, they're, whether they're Muslims, whether they're Christians, I don't care. That's what we have, freedom of speech. I'm just, you know, I just don't like when people think they can make fun of Jesus. Or I'm not Christians. making fun of Jesus. Let me make sure you put Jesus, on stuff though. about Muhammad. I'm not making fun of Islam. Jesus. Just I'm making some funny skits on them. Tony, I'm making fun of a very specific segment of people when I play that. And it's not even me doing it. It's Mrs. Betty Bowers. But I think it's funny. Could you I'm making just, fun. All Tony, I'm saying is could you also Tony, do that? let me Why? talk. With Islam Hang on. and Muhammad. Let me talk for a minute. Tony, let yeah. me, let, I'm going to say this one more time. I'm not making fun of Christians. I'm making fun of a very specific sect of Christians, people like Bill O'Reilly, who go around claiming that there's this oh. secular war on Christmas, yeah, but and that it is offensive. Let make, Tony, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Tony, Tony, let me finish. Okay? I'm talking about these people who Whoa. go around. You sound like you're getting upset. Dude, it's my show. <laughs> no one's like forcing the bull- you. He likes the John, bully. Le- John doesn't bully. want me to talk oh. either. It's a bull- I Tony. can't hear you that good, sorry. Tony, listen to me. Okay, I'm making fun of the people who go around getting all butt hurt because oh my god I was in I was in a department store the other day and I heard someone say happy holidays instead of merry christmas oh and I'm so offended by that because clearly they hate christmas and they hate christians and they hate jesus because they had the temerity to say happy holidays I think those oh, people are were asinine they, were they uh, did they happen to be were they christians or muslims Tony I don't care I just, I'm just making fun of people who propagate this whole war on Christmas idea because I think people who push that I, are silly. All I want to hear is, listen, if you're going to say stuff about Christians or put skits on about Christians, make sure you do it about Islam How many times has he said this? And Buddha and yeah, Buddha. Mother Earth or whatever they are. You know, that's all I'm saying. Right, because are, are they? Is there some sort of war on uh, Buddhism that I'm not that I'm not aware of? I mean, you know, 
I'm don't making know. fun of a very specific concept, Tony. I'm not making fun of I Christians. Know. I don't know. This is United States of America. Well, you know, dude. Freedom dude, of religion. I, if you're, I guess if you go to their countries, I don't think you can celebrate freedom of religion. Can you? Hi, what do you, what do you know about foreign What do you oh, know about America, foreign countries? Can, what do you know the, about foreign countries? Have you ever lived in one? It depends on the country. Have you ever have lived I in a foreign ever country? Lived in one? Tony, let me no, ask you a I've question. Never lived in one. Tony, uh, have I, I? I've been there. Tony, I've by me. Places, Tony, but by I don't me. celebrate. If you're a Christian, they hate you. So, Tony. Oh, sure they do. Tony, by me making fun of the war on Christmas, do you feel that I have somehow impeded on your freedom of religion by I'm doing not, that? Listen, I'm not offended. I'm not offended. I'm just calling because I heard the beginning of the show, and I was just like, well, that was funny. I hope he does. <laughs> it's about Islam and Muhammad and Buddha and, you know, Mother Earth and all that stuff. Just make Mother- it fair because it's all about diversity, right? Yeah, that's not Isn't how. That that, but that's not how comedy works. You find comedy where you find it. No one goes out in the world and says, "I, I got to do something funny." I'm trying to do something oh, funny, so hey, I hey, need Matt, to make sure. I gotta sure. call you back because I'm just pulling them all to do some Christmas shopping. All right. <laughs> well, Merry <laughs> Christmas, oh, Tony. Man. Merry Christmas Merry to you. Christmas. All right. Bye bye. There is a phrase down in the south. What a great way to start the show. There's what a, a phrase down the south, that's now, man. But Zach, we can't say it on TV. It's actually good radio. But, that was great. That was great, actually. <laughs> Not I really. Loved I loved it. I don't think it was. I, I do. I do. This is a guy that doesn't give a damn. No, it's not that he don't give a damn. He's speaking up about something he he he. I can't tell if he thought wrong. Like if he. You're thought using the was... word think. There's no thought in what just happened. Oh my god! I just realized something. <laughs> so what's Tony gonna think? When uh, when Diane comes in here and we share her new Christmas music. Oh man! <laughs> is oh, it with an no. X? No, it, it, no, it's 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 uh, the the songs have Christmas in the title. It, w- I wonder if that will uh, change Tony's mind because he thinks I'm making fun of Christmas and Christians and all that, or is he still going to to think that I'm some sort of religious bigot because I don't sit here, I haven't played something funny about Muhammad or or Buddha. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Why would you be talking about Buddha in a country that's overwhelmingly Christian? Well, that's the thing. I yeah, mean, yeah. Well, like, what what would be but then even you have the point? The freedom, then you have the freedom of religion aspect, though. It's the way you can talk about Buddha. You can talk about well, Muhammad. Yeah. You can talk about Jesus. You but can you talk about whatever you reason. support, even if it's the pasta god. But what some people don't <laughs> oh, yeah. understand too is freedom of religion works all the way around. So I'm free to pick on anybody I want. You have to have a reason. And to, to, and to, and to, and by the way, and Tony's free not to like it. Mm-hmm. And Tony's perfectly free. I mean, and Tony, I, I just so you know, you're still welcome to call any time. I don't want you to think I'm upset with you or anything. Sometimes, I, I mean, I actually would like to be challenged on things. Sometimes I think the show's a little too much people agreeing, except when this guy's here. He, he always yeah. finds a way to stir it up. That guy, John. But oh, uh, the, tarot, the tarot told me to communicate differently. Oh, he, yes. Well, you, you go through Can we phases. make fun of the tarot gods? Mm. I'm sure Tony would appreciate it if we did. I can't think of anything funny to say about the tarot gods. Well, there must be someone on YouTube must have done a parody about the tarot mm. gods. The tarot gods. Let me look it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna look up on YouTube tarot gods uh, this parody. Is small G. Okay, right. See what Tony doesn't realize is we make fun of God G A W D of the great Bouboisie of America. Stephen Philbrook in the uh, Facebook live chat says, Happy Holidays, Tony. <gasps> I say oh, Merry happy Christmas. Happy Holidays. Oh, my goodness. Since the, mas- <laughs> since the say, Messiah. Air horn on. Since the Messiah is uh, September 15th birthday, uh, we are kind of uh, you know, off the mark. There's a band called uh, Tarot. That's why, uh, you know, you have the incongruity of shepherds out there in uh, Judea at a time of year, if it's December 25th, where it's freezing and they wouldn't possibly be out at that point with their sheep because, you know, under the old, old myth, it's September 15th. That's the day. But they uh, borrowed Saturnalia 
you know, the uh, Church of Rome. Well, before we get any further in the show, I want to remind everyone, of course, that uh, we are sponsored by the Hop Knot. We are. God bless them. Yes, the Hop Knot. The Hop Knot, man. The Hop Knot at, uh, at, and when I say God bless them, I mean God, may, oh, may, God may, bless America. May the Christian <laughs> God bless them. Uh, and and other gods too, if you like. But I'm just you know the you like. gods for, you know, of terror for, for Tony's too. for Tony's sake. Uh, the Hop Knot at 1000 Elm Street in the Brady Sullivan Plaza, New Hampshire's premier establishment for delicious gourmet pretzels. They have craft beer, they have wine, they have board games, they have trivia night Wednesday nights tonight. Uh, we celebrated uh, Mr. Hopwood's birthday there. In fact, I was going to celebrate my birthday there last Friday, but I slept through my birthday. Oh well, I think I I think I messaged you and I was like, Hey Matt, what are you doing Friday? You want to come celebrate my birthday with me and like nobody else because i don't remember getting a message you from didn't you read it that. you didn't read it until oh right after. i don't always read things till later he didn't yes. read my uh, thing yeah, i wanted man. uh elvis costello red shoes i could swear shoes. it said warren zevon excitable what was that boy you wanted to talk that to me was about? So, i'm wondering that's off camera oh yes you wanted uh john hopwood to be your grandfather figure oh, correct boy i i am no, old enough to be his grandfather right yes all right. That just got excited. It's nice to know that, you know, well, my jeans finally got they, they got tall. Poor Diane. She's probably on her way here, and she's like, oh, I, oh I can't. God. She's uh, like, I'm walking I into a tarot card. Is it the tarot cards or the tarot gods we're looking up? Uh, I couldn't find anything yet. The tarot, tarot gods. gods bless Matt oh, Connerton. Okay. Oh, how okay. nice. So uh, let's see in the DJ Facebook live chat. DJ that we love. Hello to Brian Mackey, who is Brian. a top fan. Uh, Stefan says, uh, Stefan is a top fan. He says, oh my God, I can't stop listening to these crazy, crazy questions the Republicans are asking during this hearing. Beside me. Uh, Stefan says, just checking to see if I have the top fan thing. Yes, you do, Stefan. You clearly are a top fan. And guide uh, Michael Martineau is in the Facebook live chat as well as Christian Lacoste. And they're here. I'm not in there no more. I left it. I left it too. Oh, oh my goodness. I think they're, I think they're lying to you. Wow. Stefan says these professors are schooling the Republicans. Yeah, except for Jonathan Turley. He seems to be with the Republicans, but the other three, uh, I agree. Uh, Stefan says he loves Warren Zevon. He's dead. Yes. Stefan says uh, that. It ain't more. Uh, that is Christian. Oh, uh, Stefan's asking if you do any Warren Zevon covers. Warren uh, Zevon. Who's that? All right. Oh, I'm no. hearing about so many new musicians. Old the Red Wolves of London. John, I'm talking. Please don't interrupt me. It's no fun. <laughs> right. I've I've I just want to make it aware if I um if I go if I if I get frustrated with John, it's because I had to spend the last hour with him. You enjoyed yourself. He he threw me as as uh, on as host for his re- TV show without telling me. And then it's like, hey, go sit here. And I'm like, oh, okay. But no, it was a great experience. By the way, Diane just uh, texted me. She's uh, in traffic. She's running late, which oh, I think, which okay. I think is code for she was listening to the show and she's like, "I'm gonna yeah, let I things simmer like, down before I get there." No, I don't think so. No, she's no. she's she's tough. She can. Uh, can. But uh, mm. Stefan says, "Crunk Christmas is absolutely stupid." Whenever a Christian tells me to say "Merry Christmas," I tell them they need to put the Christ back into Christian. Oh, I like that. I agree. Uh, Stefan says, "What about the Festivus?" Festivus for the rest of us, yes. Uh, That's what Heidi, Honorable Heidi Hamer celebrates. Oh, uh, Jenny uh, joins us in the Facebook live chat. Uh, Stefan says I should hang up on Tony. I don't like to hang up on people. I really, really don't because I I think that discourages. uh, Mute them. I, I want. I actually want people to call and argue with me. I I do. I'm not like upset with Tony at all. The only thing I get upset with is when someone says something and then they won't let me answer them. Um, let's see. Brian says, if you shut up, Tony, you can hear LOL. Yes, that's true. Uh, Stefan says, uh, hang up on him already for Christ's sake. Uh, Chuck Colanzas joins us in the Facebook live chat. He is the uh, owner of Panucci's. Uh, Brian Mackey says, okay, I'm going back to the TV. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Stefan says, happy holidays, Tony. Oh yes. I read that already. (laughs) Happy holidays. Uh, Jenny says, uh, Jenny says, Hey, what about my peeps? Yes, why don't I, perhaps Tony would enjoy if I um, did something to make fun of Jewish people. But, uh, you know, actually, we did play that. Um, Yesterday. Wasn't what, it? what was that song that you. A take a walk s- on the kosher side. Take a walk on the kosher side. Maybe I should play that right now for Tony. By, uh, somebody in the Gelfetta fish. Oh, it's very funny. Here, Tony, I hope you're, uh, I hope you're listening. <laughs> He's doing his Christmas shopping. Well, yeah, I know. In a, but maybe, in the mall. maybe he's, maybe he's listening on his phone. 
No, I thought this was really funny. This was uh, something uh, John Hopwood uh, recommended here. We'll play. We'll play this. It's it's really good. Yanko quit the west side, Daisy, eh? Ben crossed town and joined YMCA. Soon bacon and pork he began to enjoy. Took off his yarmulke, it was a guy. I said, hey, Yanko, take a walk on the kosher side. I said, hey, Nudnik, take a walk down Fairfax. And the members of a dasher go. I should have shocked when he heard the nose. He couldn't believe that he and Jesus fought about Jews. He said, how can we be the same? Bend his long hair, he's got a Mexican name. I said, hey, Hush, take a walk on the kosher side. I said, hey, kid, take a walk down Fairfax. Why, you brock. Why don't you meet a nice girl? Why do you need a, a shiksa for that dirty, that filthy? Meet a pure one, a clean one, a clean one, a pure one. Hey, Bob, it's one of the stars in picture shows. So he straightened his hair, kept his teeth, and fixed his nose. Changed his name to Les LaRue, then talked to the pride of being a Jew. I said, hey, Abe, take a walk on the kosher side. I said, hey, whatever your name is, take a walk down Fairfax. Yeah, give me a, give me a forward there, will ya? Go in the corner there, get me a Danish here, I'm sick, I can't walk up there by myself. Give me a cup of coffee. Will Katz was taking his bar mitts for lesson. Cross the street, a shiksha was undressing. And one day, to the rabbi's surprise, Katz was shown the way he was circumcised. I said, hey, Katzy, take a walk on the kosher side. I said, hey, Nudnik, take a walk down Fairfax. And the members of us have to go. Boy, boy, boy. I'll grill a thing like that for you. know what's going to happen? Your mother finds out about a thing like that. You'll make a heart break there. Don't you care what you do? You, you filthy animal. Why don't you get upstairs study, become a doctor or something? Yeah, good animal. I'm fed up with you. God, these, these kids, they make me sick. They're animals. They're no good. Business isn't good. I gotta, I gotta stop already. I'm gonna tie, I'll move to San Diego. I get a, a wait from it all already. What am I doing here with a studio with a bunch of kids? Why, is enough singing already? You see? Let me out of here already. I gotta go, I get a sandwich or something. I can't take this anymore. I there you go. That's uh, Gefilte Joe and the Fish. Uh, they used to play that on Dr. Demento. I remember hearing that when I was a kid. Nah, John found some uh, tarot cards. A tarot card. A tarot card. Do something funny with it in case Tony's listening. And I have found evidence of tarot gods where you just didn't have the time to look. Are you being satirical right now and funny? No, no people oh. are talking about it on the well, thread. You gotta, you know, what is the force, well, you should say, spirit that animates so... Uh, the tarot cards. Well, let's make Tony happy. You should say something funny. What's there funny to say about the tarot gods? Uh, the, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of something. Uh, I can't, uh, think of, can't think of anything. It sounds like an early, like a 60s Beatles song. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, I, I got nothing. Uh, I got nothing. Let's. Uh, let, well, what about Mike? Can you think of anything funny about the tarot gods? Here. Nope. She's blonde and beautiful. The card is the star. What about Buddhism? Got, got anything on Buddhism, uh, Michael Martineau? No. Depends on which, oh, Buddha, man. which Buddha you're talking about. There's more than one Buddha? Yeah. There ha. is. Wait, wait. I got something. Buddha's fat. <laughs> not the Buddha. I was just about all, to say that one. Not <laughs> the Buddha. Thing. It He's yeah. fat. On, man. <laughs> Buddha's fat. Is my mic on? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm like, I can't hear myself. It's weird. 
So uh, let's see. Uh, Stefan says the Excitable Boy uh, album by Warren Zevon would blow your mind, uh, Christian. I'll check it out. I'll would check blow it out. your mind. Uh, Jenny says, Maddie, you better not blow uh, blow out my candles, dude. Because Jenny is uh, Jewish, you know, so she lights the menorah. Oh, no. Uh, Brian Mackey from Idaho, who is a top fan, says, I'm Irish. Come at me, man. LOL. Oh, Jesus. That's that's you like name. shooting fish in a barrel, huh? Irish joke. I hope you don't but, mean gefilte fish in a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> on Fairfax. <laughs> on Fairfax. In L.A. Jenny says, hey, wait, I am a member of the... Uh, Tarot God Hadassah, Society. I think is how you say it. Yeah, Hadassah. Hadassah. Yes, yes. Yeah, it helps to know a little about the you know, J- uh, Jewish culture to understand the song. Right. But you don't really have to. Right. No, it's all in good fun. It is all in good fun. Making fun of a kvetching old man. Well, I hope Tony feels better that we've, uh, you know, we've spread some of the making fun around. Let's see what the Tarot Gods have to say. I love how it's 2019 and everyone just... Mm. This is Tony. Let's see. Hurt, man. Let's see what the tarot gods have to say to Tony. Oh, I hope it's something funny. Yeah, you need please. to rededicate. He needs to rededicate himself to higher values, and he needs to cultivate his spiritual side. Oh no! This is what the gods are telling Tony. Now is the period for quiet contemplation. Listen, Tony, to the voice within. Oh, anything that interfere with your communion. Mm. With the tarot gods may not be serving your best interests right now. So you know, stop listening to the Fox News and that. <laughs> stop thinking about Trump. Right. You know, he's not the higher power. Well, not yet. A powerful message is waiting for you, Tony. <laughs> Connect to your higher self instead of the, you know, what Abraham Lincoln would call, was it the baser angels of our nature? Something similar to that. Oh, yeah, right. She's. I couldn't even remember Stephen Tyler's name today. Oh, so don't ask me to remember exactly what Abraham Lincoln said in the Gettysburg Address, right? Or what uh, uh, is it? General the gen- general says in Apocalypse Now, because he says it about Colonel Kurtz, who was uh, b- made a brief appearance on uh, Ward Thirteen today. I'm sure that uh, Christian didn't do see it because he was on his phone. Excuse me, uh, you guys are on your phone more than me, okay? Well, we could. I could tell when the camera's about to switch. You know why? Because I'm t- once <laughs> every I, time I was on my phone, you knew the camera wasn't on me. Right, and then I, you know, once I'm going to stop talking, it's going to go to you. Exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. I made one mistake. Of it that wasn't one. magic. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's why. I, that's why I prefer tel- uh, radio over television. Yeah, but you're on TV too. See, the yeah, thing but... is, uh, human beings evolution in evolutionary context have whites in our eyes, so you can uh, see you. I, I people don't have know where this is going. I don't think we need to bring race into it. People careful, maintain careful. It's 2019. Everyone gets offended. People mm-hmm. maintain eye contact, although if you keep staring at somebody, you know it's a predatory behavior, and which is one of the reasons that you have to be. You're always looking at somebody's eyes to see what they're up to. I never and, look people uh, in their eyes. So when you're like on your phone or something, breaking eye contact, people get mm. PO'd. Right. I mean, send it. It's 2019. Everyone does. Yeah, but it's still, it's uh, that doesn't matter. It's an evolutionary botch. Oh? Yeah, it is. Hmm. That's what elected Trump, evolutionary botches. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the tarot cards are telling Tony. How you doing over there, Mikey? Doing good. You, Have you... You awake? Yeah, I'm awake. All right, making sure. Have you been on Norm's show? Norm no. the Psychic? No. Oh, would you like to be? No. Are you afraid? I don't want to know what's inside going on inside my head. We should probably make fun of psychics uh, for uh, Tony's benefit. Oh, he, he, might, uh, Matt, he, okay, he might appreciate Matt. that. Right, you were Matt, 47 years on a psychic show. 47 years I was Norm's uh, sidekick on that show. 47 it, years? Feels like longer, yeah. Well, I'm much older than I look. Remember, I use oil of Olay. It oh, keeps yeah. my skin yeah, soft so and like, supple. You're around. You're around. Um, you're, you're... Well, I'm, I'm well into my 70s. I'm uh, uh, so, so I'm about I'm only I'm really only about ten years younger than uh, John Hopwood. Um, John, you want to explain why you just did that? 
So John just comes over to the news desk, okay, guys, and places the tarot card next to the Hopknot mug. Are you trying to give them free publicity? Because they don't sponsor our show. The great Hopknot does. Why are you mocking the tarot gods? You know, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, he's trying to You're be gonna wind up about five foot two. We do need to be uh, bellied and bald. We do need to be more satirical hope, about about the the tarot. It'll be like clearly a Twilight episode. I'll be nineteen years old and tall. Is that what Tony and meant? Skin. Is that what Tony meant when he kept saying Mother Earth? Like, why don't you make fun of Mother Earth, <laughs> Gaia? Well, well, Mother Earth. Okay, I'll take this one. Was well, a commercial? Here's why mm. we don't like Mother Earth. She just dumped two feet of snow on us. Okay, made oh, it freezing geez, cold dude. outside. I'm about done with this weather. <laughs> what? I, I don't think that's what Tony meant. Oh. Well, I tried. Mm. And Give my best effort there. If you'd been watching the introductory video, you'd have seen Lucy Van Pelt expressing uh, that sentiment. She took on Gaia, Mother Earth. But, of course, she was, is a word that begins with a B that polite people don't use <laughs> outside of a kennel. Right. Yeah. Yes. Well, should we make fun of voodoo? Voodoo? Oh, that's too easy. Oh, man. What about Annabelle? We could play the song. We could play Voodoo by Black Sabbath. Oh. Or will this actually offend Tony? I wonder if Tony's offended at hearing Black Sabbath oh, during the holidays. You're really riding this one out, aren't you? I, I just, I don't know. I, you know, I want to make, he is a loyal listener, so I do want to make him happy. Well, since the son of the morning star was beloved of God in the book of Genesis before he became a saint, uh, you know, one of those incredible, uh, Shifts of this tone is, and logic. The show's taking a turn. I don't know where this is going, but it's going somewhere, and I don't know where it's going, but let's send it. One has to mm. understand that God... It only is, happens when John comes on the show. John hasn't been on the show in how long? Like, a few weeks now, almost a month or so. Kid, you gotta do it to roll. <laughs> uh, I am. Oh, S- Satan and God are the <laughs> same entity. Oh, boy. That's the thing. So... Tony uh, probably is a Satan worshiper, but he doesn't know it. But, you know, just look at the twinkle in uh, Donald Trump's eyes. Just look right. at the twinkle in Donald Trump's eyes. And the eyes, flaming orange hair. <laughs> right. Yeah. And the photos of him with Iv- the young Ivanka on his lap. Jenny says, uh, don't forget the Pastafarians. Yes. Yeah. They say he boiled for our sins. Mm. Yes. I also uh, have some pasta but I like spaghetti. Spaghetti and the uh, pasta fairy. Wow, I can't say it. Pasta fairians. They believe in the flying spaghetti monster. Yep. You know, your- I said at the beginning of the show, I'm like, no matter what you worship, or like, even if it's a spaghetti dude or whatever I said. Stefan says, uh, can we make jokes about that voodoo practice called transubstantiation? Mick, what? That's a big word, okay? <laughs> hey, well, well, slow down. Let's not get into that. Yeah. I've had arguments with people since I was like 13 years old and people were going to communion. Yeah. Well, get what I was thinking. Like, not communion. You were going to have, is it communion when you're like 13? What's that thing you go through the catechism? We used I don't to know. let them out uh, once a week uh, early from school. You mean confirmation? Confirmation day. It should be a rock and roll song, a retro rock song about confirmation. There probably is. There was one on graduation day. So transubstantiation, of course, is when the priest turns the body and blood into the, uh, I mean, the uh, the body and blood. He turns the wine and the wafer into the body and blood of Christ. Literally. Literally, yeah. yes. Yeah. They, they believe that. You believe that? Me? No. I'm saying they believe that. So I'm a recovering Catholic. Uh, you are taking this down your throat. If I cut you, throw, you gutted you right at that point, emptied your belly out, I'd find the blood and that is not the radio flesh, talk. There, the sir. DNA of Christ. That's whoa. Jesus. Awfully violent. Yeah. Well, that's a, whoa. Great I, way of okay. Doing um, DNA research. Try to get right, DNA done, from 2,000 years done, ago. Done. <laughs> done. Can, let's recap on what you just said. You just said let's. So if I gutted you, after that's he very t- violent. After, after he did the host. I, 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 don't, I don't know if I want to. I don't know. I took the sacramental wine. I, I, I'm, I'm low-key scared right now. I'm I never, uh, I never drank from the wine because uh, I was afraid, especially yeah. during cold and flu season. I mean, really. Wine. I mean, I guess in Everybody be sticking their be fingers in that stuff, and it's like, no. Well, no, you don't stick your fingers Not, in no, well, no, you're thinking you of the know. holy water. Oh, no, no, no. When they do the whole... Blood well, they, of don't Christ. Touch, they don't touch the wine. Well, I know at my church, well, my old church, which I don't go to no more. 
the Church of Marilyn Monroe. Totally. Yep. From so uh, they, yep the 1975 film uh, Tommy. Like I know they let them like they let them dip the bread themselves. I feel like that's dip the bread. Shut it's not up. bread. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whatever. Same thing. Okay. Ooh. He must be a Protestant. Because they 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 call no, it bread. No, actually, <laughs> actually, I don't consider myself religious anymore. Oh, you're gonna go to hell then. Send it, bro. Good luck in hell. You are in Send hell. it. I already am in hell. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, Stefan says when it turns into the into body, you become a cannibal. And Jenny says, "That's and what I'm saying. Drink the blood of the dead." Well, but Could, that is what uh, Catholics uh, believe. Well, we wouldn't have to, you know, you've made me think we wouldn't have to actually gut him. We could take a large turkey baster, oh, jam okay. it down his gullet, okay. suck it back All up, right. and then do the research. All right there, John. We don't want to know you're, you're killing people's fantasies here. This These thing, aren't. These are getting. This well, is just a turkey fantasies. baster. These aren't fantasies? Haven't you ever watched like a pornographic film? People have taken bigger than a turkey base, dude. <laughs> well, let's not let's, let's not, not uh, go into that. Get okay, into let's, that. Let's, let's that's for Matt the Covington. That's for that's Ryan. Ryan. That's, that's, the, on, on, that's for the Ducking for Cover podcast. If, yes. um, y'all want to come on and talk about gutting people, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Kid, how did you wind up in this shell? You know, you got to let, let anything hang out. I can't with you right now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Well, I think that uh, that explains the popularity of people like Ozzy Osbourne and, you know, the satanic rock and roll that, that goes back to Elvis Presley, you know, because they're celebrating God through Satan, them being the same. Well, Elvis, you know, I mean, uh, everything was nice until he showed up and started shaking his hips in that demonic fashion. Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ed Sullivan... Put him on a screen because he first went on Uncle Milty's show, Milton Burrow, and he got 200,000 letters. And he told Colonel really? Tom Parker, Elvis's uh, manager, you've got a star here. And he said, but they're all negative. It doesn't matter whether it's negative or positive. It's right. People were so. Mm. And he right. became the king. Yes, exactly. One of only three kings in entertainment. Clark Gable, the king of the movies, Elvis, the king of rock and roll, and we won't talk about Johnny Holmes. Johnny Holmes? Yeah, he was I'm... called the king. Oh. Uh, was John D. Say... Holmes. You ever see Boogie Nights? Yes. It's based on John C. Holmes. Oh, right, right. Okay. He was the king. Ah, yes. This was before Pornhub, you know. You're Pornhub. Right. I never even knew what Pornhub was until I came on the Matt Covington show. Michael Matt Martino Covington. has just uh, left the room uh, suddenly. I hope everything's all right. Well, he couldn't get know. Pornhub. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> He's so, back. Anyway. I was like, oh, no, did he storm out on us? Oh, no, please don't leave us. So where have you been, uh, John Hopwood? Where, where have you been? I thought you asked Mike Martino, where were you? Oh, well, I know where he was. He was out there. He's out in the hallway. Is that what Eric Gagnon does all the time? I, he walks uh, I mean, mid, Easy G. Mid announcement on me. No, Eric uh, gets up and he uh, uh, grabs a bathroom key and then goes to the uh, facilities. The Pissoir. Oh, go open the door, Mike. Oh, there we go. Hello. So our guest has arrived. Where should she sit? She can sit right there. Oh, okay. Well, Diane is here. Right. How are we doing with that camera angle? Do we need to get? Do we need someone to adjust it? Hey, no, we're all right. Put all the right. tarot card back up. It fell down. It's staying down. We're not giving them free publicity, okay? The Hop Knot proudly sponsors us. Yes. Let them do their thing. Oh, thank oh, you. you. You're gonna you're gonna learn some things in life. Don't put no. Don't. Oh, he's screwed now. I just put whatever the tarot you were card talking about mug. upstairs. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you Hi. believe in the tarot gods? I do in a way. There you go. Really? When they say good stuff. Well, there you go. <laughs> yes. Well, they, they, it did I have a good message you... for. Well, who's that guy that called earlier? Tony. Tony. Miss, I don't know if you've been listening to this show since you've got here, but it's been a pretty wild show. Matt and <laughs> someone just got into an argument. It was pretty wild. Um, yeah, I basically just walked into a. Um, well, things are calm down now. Well, Everything's yeah, a little bit. I missed all the fun. Well, except no. For, except it. for John over here giving me crap about tarot cards and stuff. <laughs> well, you're you're really, uh, you know, rolling the dice in a bad way, dude. That's what I do. That's the game I play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Diane is here. Diane, uh, I, I always butcher your last name. Ruggiero. Ruggiero. Am I saying that right? 
You did it. Ruggiero. It's hey, perfect. You're a fan of the Sopranos. You can't spell <laughs> Sopranso an Italian name. I, I always think it's a soft G. I always say Ruggiero, <laughs> but it's Ruggiero. As long as you don't say Ruggiero. Right, Cause right. Because then my father will kill you. Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> and uh, you've brought... Whack him. You've brought a mug. I brought you a present because I know you Santa love posting by your cat. Whoa. Yes, yes. And look at the socks. Pull out the socks. If you're uh, if you're watching online, you can see the mug, the Santa mug. And it Paws has a mug. little kitty toy. There. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. The, the kitties will love that. <laughs> and uh, socks that say holiday hunk. <laughs> wow. Are you sure these aren't for Easy G? <laughs> Easy G Eric Agnon's not here today. But uh, no, well, thank you, uh, thank you so much, you're uh, Diane. That's wonderful. I hey, very much for appreciate me it. On. Of course, of course. Well, you're always welcome. Thank you. But uh, but of course, we're going to uh, feature some of your music today. Thank you. What what's up? Uh, before we play something, what's uh, what's been going on? It's been actually a very long time <sighs> since you've been here. What like a year? It's, two years. I think <gasps> no, it hasn't been no, two years. No, a year and a half. Uh, no, I think you were here. Because I have an email from you from back in January, I oh, think. Oh, you sent my email? That's a year. <laughs> well, when I search your name, they all gotcha. come up. So, Because no, I was looking for, for the music. Gotcha. Because you, you sent a few things. I know. Was I being crazy? No, no, no. No, time? that's good. <laughs> it's good that you sent uh, several things. Um, hey, no, did but, you fail to cover the spread or something? Or did somebody break one of your fingers? Oh, my gosh. You know what I did? Thanksgiving, I tried to catch a knife. <laughs> what? I, I have a scar from that. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. It was like impulse. Like I draw, I'm dropping the knife, and I oh. went to try to grab the handle, and it's like razor sharp. And I, so that's oh, me. Wow. Oh, wow! I stopped the knife thrown by a woman. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Wow. Hey, <laughs> Jeez. Let me Tell see. Where's blood. your scar? You have a scar? It's there. You can barely see it now. Okay. <laughs> but uh, but that's. 42 years ago. Wow. Celts are hot-blooded people, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. A lot of Celts in northern Italy. Really? Oh, yeah. I you see red-haired, to... blue eyes, and blonde. And the, well, yeah. you know, because they uh, integrated with the Norway, right? Well, there's Sweden? an alpine. Well, that's down in uh, Sicily. Not... Like, they have blue eyed because of the, the, uh, the uh, Vikings controlled it. I and they went all Vikings. the way down... Russia too, all the way down the wow. river. But uh, up north, there's a called an Alpine race, and they're blonde-haired, blue-eyed. And so when you get up my to northern Italy, my grandmother was yeah. blonde and blue-eyed. Yeah. So my and, daughter became blonde and blue-eyed. Isn't that crazy? Huh. Now here's okay. the real wow. thing: when Rudy Giuliani was elected mayor, he b brought a chef into Gracie Mansion, which is you know like the White House of New York. Northern Italian cuisine. There's two the million, best. back then, <laughs> two million Italians, you know. It used to be two million Italians, two million Ju uh, <laughs> Jews, like a million and a half Irish and, blah, blah, you know, it was uh -huh. big ethnic groups. All the Italians were angry because, <laughs> you know, most of the Italians that came here were from Naples and below. Naples, so. that was all my family. Yeah. Yep. Right. Come on down to the Hop Knot at 1000 Elm Street, Manchester's premier craft beer and gourmet pretzel bar. Tell us more, Trudy. We make our dough fresh every day. We make a variety of styles of pretzels and serve craft beer, cocktails, and a few bottles of wine. We do the traditional pretzel, and we have multiple flavors for that. We also do stuffed pretzels, pretzel sandwiches, free dessert pretzels, and pretzel knots. The Hop Knot in the Brady Sullivan Plaza at 1000 Elm Street. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the best of Matt Connerton Unleashed, Volume 29. And this best of is special for a few different reasons. Number one, because we haven't done one in a while. Number two, it's the first best of, officially, of the COVID-19 stay-at-home era. <laughs> and number three, this is the first best of Matt Connerton Unleashed, to feature a specific theme. And the theme is arguments. You're going to hear some of the best arguments from the history of the show. Because what better way to calm your fears and soothe your worries in these challenging times than listening to people yelling at each other on the radio? <laughs> uh, and this is only part one. So enjoy. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Hey, Matt, Mike Doyle. Mike Doyle, how are you, sir? Good. How you doing? Hey, good news. I'm down at my daughter's. Uh, she coaches Memorial Field Hockey, and uh, 
I'm sitting here in Wyndham High School watching the game, and I'm listening to you on the show. I didn't think you guys reached that far. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I, pretty I good. I get him in Massachusetts on three. Our reach is far yeah. and wide. Uh, well, it seems like it seems like in the dairy. I was driving down the road. It seems like around dairy, right. you start to lose the signal a little bit. But I, the, the, the high school is kind of raised up here, so maybe that's why. But Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, but the re- main reason for my call is, Again, I mentioned this last week when I called. You. Don't you think that there's a little bit of overkill on this Bible thing? No. Don't you think? Don't you think the crux of the the whole theory was that the VA will allow any religions to anybody who comes in there That's to 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 work whatever religion they want to believe in. I think that was the the whole understanding of the of the and and the the people are just turning it into this Bible and Catholic and. I think, the, I think the Catholic. bottom message was no religion is going to be exempt from, from coming into the VA for somebody who fought for this country and is in, in the VA. Yeah. Then why did I, they, that's my take on it. But why, did they I, remove I the, why did they remove the other text then from the table? There was a, who uh, cares? Who cares? The I bottom care. Line is, I, I mean, care. You just make, Do you, you know, know, hey, listen what, to me. I, I I'm a veteran. I the math the other day, and I, I kind of knew care. he wouldn't play it. But I care. How about how about let me That's let me give you a couple of things me. for real discussion. How about great how about great uh, new employment numbers for the last quarter? No, let's go back to what you just jobs. said, Mike. How about I the care. roaring economy? I how about care. the stock market coming back after the fake recession talk from the left? Let's talk. About, let's talk uh, about the issue. You unemployment just staying about. at three point seven you can't across argue. the board at you all, can't all, argue. all levels. Let's talk about a fra- let's talk about a president that is a liar, a fantasist, and a vice what's, president. What's that have to do with what I just and said? a vice president that lied about a provenance of this Bible in order to hey. justify that being put back. You're talking about liars. I'm not. I wasn't talking about Trump. You know I was talking about is? the economy. You were know honor is, Mike. Uh, did you ever so step? Why, why, did you it's, ever it's step? You have Trump disorder. Did you ever you step Trump on? Disorder. You, you hate the lie. man so much. That oh, you can't realize that again. what you he's doing as a businessman so is making this, co- is making this country man. run a he's pretty a good clip. He's a hu- marketing hustler. I've known about since 1984. He's the equivalent of a siding salesman. Even they're more honest than this ass. But you, did you ever step up to the line and take an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States and the country? Did you? No, what does that have to do with anything? Because that, I, I did. I know people that I'm, I have to live every day of my life because I did that in pain. And I have memories are you a, are and flashbacks. You a vet, are you a veteran? Oh, Jesus, what do you think? What do you think I'm, right. I wear and a hat? Or, who's, who's and all this time, you can't know I'm a president. disabled veteran? That's, I, I have to go up there. I have to go up Who? there. I have to and be offended And if you don't get proper service, that. can you go somewhere else? That's my right, my uh, Mike. I won that. I won that with my yeah, pain. Well, I did it in a way your hero, a four F, never could he, do. He, he made he, it so you could do that, my friend. He didn't serve his country, did he? There's men up there that friggin' you don't know the horrors they went through. You don't know. What does that have to do with what anything? Is that I'm, not, to, I'm not arguing that. How can that. you say that? You're talking about the Veterans Administration. You dare talk about that and trivialize it? That's an insult. I was up there when, after the massacre in Quebec, there's, there were people given free license to make anti-Muslim is, comments this, up there, and I objected, and I objected vociferously. Matt knows right, about what I what went you, through. This is what yeah. you, in a, and we're having a conversation. This but you're is not what having you have a conversation. When people, when people are psychotic like you. We, oh, we, you just you know, said that I'm trivializing you want, you want me to, the veterans. Do you want me to, like, we, we, pal why did I trivialize, you? trivialize the How veterans? How dare you I never say did that? Anything of the sort. Listen, buddy. But you, but you guys up. think that if you just yell it out, it's you, true. You, how I, dare you say that to me? I never said anything about me. the veterans or trivializing. You never, never sacrificed. Not one word. Have you but, ever but made so any sacrifice, that you have to, Mike? You have, that's your lean What's to. your sacrifice for the country? Yell it into the mic, and it's true. Because you're offensive. That's how it works with you. You're ignorant. You're ignorant. You're ignorant. You have no right to say what you did about me. Come and say that to my face. I'll say it in time to you. Come face. up and say it to my face. What does that have to do with anything? My father was a veteran. He died oh, in the VA now, hospital you have because no... they misdiagnosed but... his... He had a bleeding uh, ulcer, and they told him he had hemorrhoids. He died two days later when we brought him to the Elliott Hospital. I'm not saying anything bad about that. The veterans try the best they can. What I was saying was Trump... 
Trump did a lot for the veterans. I don't what know has why. Trump done for the veterans? the veterans? What's Trump and done for veterans? The microphone. What's what did Trump I do done to for veterans? The veterans? What's that Trump to done for veterans? Tell me. Tell me what, what he's done about? for veterans. Tell me. Just answer, answer my question. Tell me what he's you're, done, you're, mister. Your way to answer you're the question so is to yell you're in the so microphone, smart. and that makes it Why true. shouldn't I yell when somebody so ignorant is going to tell me what's going on up there? You know, I'm Mike, not telling you what's you know, going Mike, on up there. I didn't say anything about that. You know, Mike, so there I you am a again, journalist. Making up stuff. Fake news. I'm there a you journalist. Go. You have no... Mike, you don't know what the truth is. You're so bizarre. I'm not telling you what's going on up there. Where, you just said I did. Where, what you, did I tell you? Nothing. I'm you not trivialize that. everything. Trump you just said that Trump is doing all sorts of stuff for veterans. And their medical so, what benefits. What has he been doing? That's all I said. What's he doing, Mike? And, you know, you you know more I than I do about veterans. The issues. VA. Tell me. And I'm going to yell at you because you trivialize. What are you talking about? You just said. You, you trivialize. Mike, you are a Trumpite to the very soul. He mirrors you. You're incapable of... Of friggin' arguing about anything, you trivialize the Bible, and then now you're pretending you didn't. Something that what did shouldn't I tri- be how up did I there. Trivialize the Bible? Mike, you're a person. My father, who was a siding, says would say, "You how have, did I trivialize you have the to Bible? go back Again, to Genesis you just make to explain stuff up everything." As you go along, no, have Mike, your argument. No, Mike, you're, ignorant, you're an Bible? ignorant person. How dare you call me a psychotic? I could sue you for that. Do you understand yeah, that? Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah assume you me. think assume I can't? Me. Why shouldn't I? You, it, what, an, what, a, what, a, what a, that's what you have to deal with. That's Trump ignorance, you know? I know. You, 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 you are can't ignorant answer one person. person. You, can, you, know, you can't answer one why question. Don't you All you shut can do up. is yell on the phone. Buddy, why don't you have a shut that I'm up? A Trumpite and this. Shut How up. did I trivialize the veterans shut by up. saying Trump has helped the veterans with some of his um, legislature? How with did some I, of his legislature? How did I trivialize What's the that? veterans? With his legislature. What does he carry around the legislature on his back? No, no, see? I mean, you, you Tell can't me what he did. Tell me what he did, no mister. You know more than I do about so, veterans. You know more about the Bible than I do. Just because you're a Tell veteran me. doesn't mean you're right, my friend. Yeah, I know more about being a veteran than you can ever dream of. Could you could you imagine nope, that nobody, in your life? Nope, that, nobody, like said, Trump, nobody said anything that differently. Trump, nobody's arguing with it. Can you ever it? imagine in your life that I might know more about what it's like to be a veteran? What it's like to go, be said, forced to go to chapel when I'm in basic training? To be discriminated who against? Who said that? Where'd you hear that? It, you know, Mike, come on. You play these rhetorical games. You know, it's all you type of games. Did it's I called say rope about you being a veteran? You're a rubber band man. Oh, who, who uh, cares about the Bible? You're unbelievable. Up there? No, Mike. You're the, you're, the, you're, the, you're the problem, man. You're the, you're no, the problem. you're the problem, Mike. You because you worship, you, a hate, you worship a hate monger. You worship a hate monger that lies. Yes, I don't it's worship a anybody. So you I don't belong know what you're to a Trump again, another lie. You belong you to a Trump keep, They call. just keep coming at you one after another. You belong to a Trump I don't. Call. I don't worship anything. Yes, I hate do. some of the stuff Trump says. Oh, well, let's hear it. it. I what do you, what some do you of the hate? He says. I'm like, let's hear but, it. Tell us that. But his actions are different than his words, my friend. That's all I can tell you. Oh, yeah. You guys act- just don't want to talk about the economy, the stock market, the unemployment. These, uh, everything that's you ripping. You mean the Obama Everybody's economy working. he Everybody's inherited? Happy. People have money. The Obama no, economy he inherited. you don't want to talk inherited. about that. You want to talk about a Bible. You, why don't you how, shut up? How you, you trivial you it is. You or, under, or, sw- you or under, sharpie. Look what he just said. And how, you see what this, how he says? The, there was no possibility that that storm was going to go offen- through you know what? Florida. The You're original, an offensive The original uh, drawings showing it, it could have gone right through Florida. Oh, yeah, and gone into the Gulf. You are, where, you are, where it would seek warmer water. And then at that point, possibly, it could hit Alabama. Mike, you live that, in a fantasy that, land that this guy, you're just enthralled to him, and you just trivialize what you said about the Bible again. Somebody could get killed up there, Mike. Do you understand I'm not, that? I'm not saying Do you understand that somebody could get killed about? by these evangelical nuts? Did you listen to any mm. of the show, you satanic Jews and stuff? When I was doing an interview up there, a guy, I left it out of the article for Carol. He says, I got a gun in my car. And he, you know, they're there. He knew all about this stuff. Mm. He's got Christian tapes talking about this various stuff. When I, right. when I worked so against that, that, that anti Muslim, that that he's got a gun in his car. When I had that, to... Mike, you never, you never have done any, you've never put your ass on the line, anything, except maybe at a betting, you know, betting on a horse. 
What does that have to do with anything? I don't because you don't, know, you, you don't know what it's like to they, be a soldier. You don't know what it's like to be a veteran. You don't know what it's like to be a father in harm's way. Fought, my oh, father fought your the Korean father, War. Uh, so I was, your father I was never makes drafted. you a veteran. No, I, I didn't have that opportunity. But he makes you a veteran, uh, I have family right? members that were in the war. I have oh, a, so that makes I you a veteran. I have a good friend. One of is our like best friends' osmosis? son is still over in Iraq. It's osmosis, in, right? It, it's osmosis. What? You're probably a con- Why don't we combat veteran? We can give you a Medal of Honor just like Donald Trump, right? Donald Trump's oh, a great war hero, right? What no, is I'm wrong listening with to you. you. You know, Mike, because I live in Manchester, New Hampshire, with people of, you know, this is ignorance. You're ignorant. Yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. you just don't you want know, to talk about facts, that's all. What? No, I'm United, talking about every fact. Now and again, try I, to I, fact. I'm a that's veteran. All. Does that get through your instead, head? Instead of your meandering that the whole no, world uh, should listen to you because you're a veteran. No, Mike. I said, I'm a veteran. I know what it's like to be forced to go to a Christian ceremony. I know what it's like yes. because I'm I'm the person I am to stand up when me and my let Jewish me, body finish, we're going to be let going me to the Easter this, service. I'm sure Matt wants to get on his show. Poppy, thanks for fighting for us. I appreciate your, uh, your spending your time in the war and uh, for I the wasn't freedom in that we war. now live. And, and my I family wasn't in lives. a war, Thank you very Mike. much. Mike. All right, Mike. Thank you for the call. Jesus Christ! You know this is the thing. Oh, oh boy. I mean, this is the Trump cult. I mean, you hear the the crap? A Bible. That's the whole. This guy. This this guy, Trump. He's a born again Christian. One. He he doesn't even know anything about the Bible. This is this is all a thing, in my opinion, based on lies. To create a, a potential Charlottesville-like uh, situation. Here I'm a journalist. When I was doing the stuff against that bigot, the anti-Muslim bigot, everybody knows that it was me. And the guy got fired. Yeah, I have to hear yeah. that. I tried to do a project with veterans up there. They No, he's a communist, a journalist. What does Trump do? Why don't you bash the journalists? Why don't you hit them? All right. that stuff. So right. here's Mike talking about this. I'm writing about this. Mike, a guy who's never put his ass on the line for anything, except, you know, the $2 window. And, you know, I'm exaggerating at stuff, but hyperbole. Yeah, yeah. And uh, here I am up there. People, it's not uh, inconceivable that somebody could get killed up there. They're making this, this is New Hampshire. This is the first in the nation primary. That jackass who I, you know, I say is Pat Sajak, not Hitler. Is up, you know, is here at that rally taught religious uh, freedom. He brings mm-hmm. that up. Right. This is a thing they're going to use in the campaign. And it, I think it's obscene. Not one presidential candidate's talking about this. The right wing media, Washington Examiner's all over it. Right wing newspapers and everything carry this story. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's, you know, but my, that's not just offensive to me and triggering. It's a bit of obscenity. But the, I am potentially, my life's in danger because of that. And because of this president that Mike worships like the risen Christ, hyperbole again. Yes, but there yes. is a cult aspect to this. I could get shot up there or something. That's something I have to live with. But, you know, that's something I choose to do. I got sued by a, 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 a prominent official. We, we don't talk about stuff like that because I got the guts to do something. Mm-hmm. I mean, and Mike, Mike, Mikey Weinstein, we're just reading this. Yeah. He's had death threats. Oh, sure. yeah. These yeah. are people that run around with guns. There's a, uh, a Christian, uh, the, you know, on this station that has had people on his show, and you were on it too, that took up arms against the United States in Oregon. Yes. You know. Yes. These pe- there are people associated with this. That, uh, and he said that God saved them from a hail of, what, 45, 144 bullets. There are people willing to take up arms and talk about killing people. And let me remind you, in Manchester, New Hampshire, David Irving, the number one Holocaust denier in the entire world, came here. I guess he every annually when he made his trips to spew his bilge about, you know, Hitler was wonderful and didn't, wasn't responsible for the uh, Holocaust. And what did he say? Oh, you know, uh, those doors that they say were on uh, the death factory, you know, the gas, where they gas people, like at Treblinka and Auschwitz. Well, those were actually just doors used for gas chambers in case the United States and Britain, you know, dropped gas bombs. Mm. You know, this is the type of stuff right. a once respectable 
uh, historian who later on you look at the history. You know, this is what people have to deal with. Yeah. You know, I remember breaking because I used to be able to get into the dark web. The story where armed, armed right wingers were going to go to an Abby Giffords, uh, well, Gabby Giffords, to confront her with loaded automatic weapons. Mm -hmm. I passed that information on, and they moved it uh, into another thing. Yeah, but uh, you know, there's an active culture here. Yeah, you know, they sell sniper rifles in this state. Sniper rifles, where you can kill somebody a mile out. You really need a sniper rifle, right? You know, you need silencers. No, what is the status of silencers? Legally, you tell me. You 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 know more people on that side than I do. I do, but I'm not sure where that sits currently. I don't think you can. I don't think you can get them, but I'm not sure. And to think that that Bible, that is how. Yeah. Hitler, I'm not talking about Trump. Is it? Trump was Pat Sajak, but Pence. Pence is a nasty number. Mm -hmm. He's a very nasty number, and he's aligned with these uh, militant Christians. I'm I, not going to have my family, that, this yeah. forced on me. I'm not going to have Jews insulted, Muslims and that. That's not what I suffered for right. when I took the oath. You know, it's not about a big – America's not about money in a big stock market. Or you can get the latest 4K TV from 380 bucks at Walmart because it was made by slave labor in China. It's about the rights of human beings. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what's paramount. And here's this tyrant that's going to take some girl from Guatemala – Ship her out before her her her, her, her treatment is. Oh, done. I know the her, ca her cancer treatment. Yeah, it really is just the death of of human decency. That situation. The central book, you know, I, I don't know the Bible like Fred Bonig or anything. With me, it's just metaphor, anyways. Right. I don't take it literally, and yeah. uh, much of it's appalling. But Christ isn't about uh, lying. Deceit. You know, this Northeast uh, POWMIA network, it's got like four buzzwords. One of them is truth. It has no truth at all. But, you know, an evangelical Christian, I guess, certain evangelical can lie, you know, lie about stuff for the greater good. Right. And then they project it, because well, I'll come up with that next week. I've got all the stuff where they project it on the Muslims. Oh, Muslims are all lying. Oh, you know, Omar took an oath in the Quran. That's not valid, you know. States. It has to be on a Bible. And, you know, she's just a duplicitous uh, Sharia, you know, lover anyways. But, you know, yeah. to say that religion isn't one of the the, 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 the force driving the, po the Reagan Republican Party. Oh, yeah. That was, well, Reagan came to power on the backlash, the racist backlash, the white backlash mm -hmm. in California and uh, in 1980. Here's a guy that launched his campaign and... Philadelphia, Mississippi, which the symbolic place where three civil rights workers were murdered just 16 years before. Reagan's uh, the one who gave us the uh, the uh, welfare queen. And he also called up Nixon when he's governor and said, when, "Oh, right, we when, learned that just recently." Yeah, when uh, China, which would be uh, uh, Taiwan, was nationalist China was thrown out of the UN and. Red China, which they called that time Communist China, the China we know, was seated in the UN. Uh, Afri uh, African delegates allegedly were dancing in the aisles. Yeah. So Dutch uh, calls up uh, Richard Nixon, called the monkeys. Yep. A macaca means monkey in, I, I guess, I know it is in Portuguese. Yeah, I played the George Allen clip yesterday because uh, I played that. What did I? Why did I play that? What was it? Something had reminded me of George Allen. Oh, Gary Landrew in Louisiana. Uh, using the N word on a radio show as, as he's running for governor, and apparently was completely oblivious that you can't say that. When did that. he do that? Yeah, he was on a show called The Right Chicks. There, um, so our friend uh, Chris James, he had called into the show and did a prank. He pranked yeah. Gary Landrew while he was on the air, and then uh, Landrew then used the N word in the aftermath of that. <laughs> you mean it, it happened just now? In oh, recent times? Oh, yeah. It's Louisiana. Remember, it's a state that almost made uh, David Duke governor back in the 90s. You know, the thing, Mark, this is the last state, and I only found it out recently when I went to a reparations thing, and somebody told me that had Martin Luther King Day. Oh, yeah. something else. Yeah, because we, against it. we held out. We For a while, it was just Civil Rights Day. It was just Arizona, and yeah. then they were the, la we were the last one. Yeah. And Martin Luther King. It made us look really Jr. bad. 
who, other than uh, Franklin Roosevelt, the greatest American who wasn't like you know in government, it would be so, always talked about these Christians that use the Bible to demonize blacks mm-hmm. as the children of Ham, to deny them their civil rights and everything, to deny the centrality of that book, Bible, being used as an act of oppression, mm-hmm. and to deny that Christ is a Jew. In his entire lifetime, Christ was a Jew. He didn't create a Christian religion. Right. He right. didn't create a Christian religion. The Christian religion wasn't even created until 300 some odd years later uh, by the Armenians. That's the first Christian church. I mean, you got Saul of Tarsus slumping the tub. It would have been a cult of Judaism, part mm-hmm. of Judaism. Mm-hmm. But uh, to hear this stuff mm-hmm. and then to say, oh, you're talking about a Bible, you know, and, you know, and it's the Obama economy, which he's it was going to uh. go into a natural recession according to Jeff Cassell and others. Right. But he just keeps stringing it out to try to get the recession that's going to hit till after his election. Yeah. And, but it might hit in spring or something. It's going to be disastrous. There were uh, th- there was economic data today that, you know, the new job, the newest job creation numbers, not the one the ones that Mike was referring to, but the ones that came out today were not great. They weren't terrible. But we're they, talking but, about Mick Jobs. Though. But they're right. But they're they're not great. They've and, lost uh, manufacturing. It's never coming back. Right. Which and, is sad. And, and part of that is due to the tariffs, and the, the our agricultural sector is getting killed. So it's a little hard to give Trump a lot of credit for a great economy when the economy, I think, would be better, and I think most economists would agree with that. The economy went would, into would, a mild recession. Well, but the economy would also be greater if it weren't for this stupid, pointless trade war. That there's just no reason yeah, to be doing this. Yeah, because that's slowing down other economies. Absolutely. Well, and our own. And our own. The Jeff, farmers are getting killed. Uh, Jeff Cassell has been taught, writing about this on oh, I know. Facebook, but he won't come on and talk about Farms, it. Farming bankruptcies are at record numbers right now. They're getting killed. And uh, so it's really hard to sit here and say, oh, Trump is doing a great job yeah, but he's defending on the economy. White- he's wiping out the farmers in the Midwest. He's Who wiping cares? them out. He's killing them. Who cares? So, uh, so I'm the sorry. I'm sorry, Mike. Great. But yeah, and, I'm glad. And that- he's defending white Christian America. <laughs> right, yeah. And Mike just said uh, that we really were going to go to Alabama. Here, here's Mike. <laughs> I have a magic Sharpie, too. Here's Mike. Oh, let and- me put the camera on you. There we go. So, oh, the lot, oh, oh, the lot, oh, the line's gonna run around Mike. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it would hit him. Where yeah. is he? I didn't know that Mike was in Manchester. <laughs> I think he there said he's go. in, uh, he's in Wyndham. Oh, well, you know, so. he's heading towards Wyndham, but it knocked him here, right? So, I, I really, uh, I, you know, even though we disagree, I really like Mike and I always appreciate his calls. I did not like what he said about you, though. I want to be on record about that. I didn't like what he what well, he said to you. You know when he said trivialization, was, you a veteran. Well, no, I'm referring to what he called you. I didn't like that. Well, a veteran that, gets that triggered. Was a, that was out of line. That's why you shouldn't have a Bible up there. Right. You get, we easily get triggered. Yeah. That that was well. He just was saying it, and the you know. I know. I didn't, the heat of it. I, I know. Oh, I know that. And and he's he's a good guy, and he has a good heart. And he didn't. I, I, he didn't. Do. He didn't mean it. But I. But I, I just I didn't like that he said that. But well, I got triggered. Yeah. Yes. Well, you you do get uh, triggered at times. And how, huh? (laughs) That's one of the reasons they shouldn't have a damn Bible up there. Mm. Because some veteran on the other side will get triggered. Right. But they, what Mike won't let let me say is a a veteran put a text, a Jewish prayer book, a Wiccan book, a empty notebook, and something else, I'm not sure could be Hindu or Buddhist, and it was immediately taken off because right. under the direct control, it's not under local control. I don't, I, and I don't think Mike realizes this part because he in, in, in fairness to him. I don't think he understands. Yeah, but think why he does he read about it before he starts uh, talking about it Well, and yeah, that, that's, it. that's a great point, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't think he realizes that part because he kept saying, well, if, if it's open to all religions to put a book there, he doesn't realize but it. But he's calling No, it's in. not. Why don't you guys talk about how wonderful Trump is? I know. Well, you know, Mike, I don't lead my life that, the, you know, the stock market is the arbiter of all good money because yeah. I'm a Christian. And uh, although it's hard to say that sometimes, mm-hmm. money's yeah. the root of all evil. Even I, And I don't have any money, Mike. I'm mean, a disabled. If you saw what I got from the government, yeah, it's pretty sad. 
because they deny everything when you're putting into the Veterans Benefit Administration. The VHA, which is the Veterans Hospital, try to get you better. And the VBA tells you to go take a flying uh, leap. Um, I do know one thing uh, Trump did do for veterans, which I, I thought was a good thing. Uh, recently, he signed into law the uh, uh, oh, we talked about it because you were joking about you should have gone to law school. Um, the uh, uh, debt forgiveness on college loans for veterans. Oh, yeah. Well, which, my... which is a good thing. That's a good thing. I, I'll give Trump credit for that. I'm glad he did that. Can I tell the Al Baldessero story or do we have time? We have uh, about three and a half minutes. Well, I'm up there. Chris Pappas is doing great. Uh, he's on the Veterans Committee. He's completely, you know, taken over from Carol J. Porter, who is a stalwart defender in the Manchester VA. We were up at a, uh, you know, a meeting at the uh, Manchester Veterans Center in Hooksett where people were talking about, you know, the services and everything. And uh, they were talking about this bill Carol Shea Porter introduced because some of the vets, uh, you know, talked about giving veterans in the mil- in the VHA system, veterans health care system, uh, dental benefits because dental health is so important, you know, like mm-hmm. c- contribute to heart attacks. You have to poor dental health. Yeah. Some of the guys got, you know, you only get it if you're 100 percent, even if you're 90 or 70. And then they were saying, why doesn't the, you know, all oh, this 55 sponsors, Chris put the bill in again. They're all Democrats, not one Republican. And these guys are Trump-loving you know, mm-hmm. Republicans, even though they respect Chris. They do, because and Carol, because they knew they worked for her. Yeah. And they say, well, uh, you know, what? Why, uh, the president, uh, nobody's telling the president about this, and that's why it's not that anybody's, uh, you know, well, why it's not getting done. It's not being put in the president. Finally, I said, after everything broke, because they were talking to one of Chris Staffers, I said, well, you have Al Baldessero as a friend of Trump, he acknowledged him yet again here during the rally, which I uh, said good things about Trump, if you remember, which Mike never for- always forgets. Yep. In the heat of his psychosis. He, uh, a little tit for that. And uh, <laughs> all these Trump people got uh, I know. triggered. I but know. so I said, why don't, why don't you go uh, have Al talk to him? And the guy just ignores me. I said, yeah, just treat silent. You said, oh, what did you say? I said, well, why don't you have Al Baldessero talk to Trump? We'll have to tell him about it. Says, it's not that easy. Yet during the entire like public presentation, oh, oh the president hasn't heard of it. Oh, he's like, <laughs> oh, if only he knew. But yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they treat this guy like he's he's uh, Jesus Christ. I know, yeah. like not Jesus Christ, because Jesus he could never be Christ. Like right. he's uh, the Jehovah that uh, you know that they pray in the Psalms. Oh, Jehovah, I want you to uh, dash the brains of the children of my enemies out. You know, on stones. Yeah. Like he's God on the throne. I know. I know. And that's why that Bible matters, because it's a lie and it's a provocation. It's a manipulation. Not the Bible itself, but the placement at the VA. No, it doesn't matter whether it's a Catholic Bible or Protestant Bible. Agreed. New English, this, that, or the other thing, which shows the ridiculousness of saying one Bible represents everything. They claim this represents everybody. Jews, atheists, everything. It's a lie, and it was based on a lie. And if Mike can't realize that lying is offensive, particularly to somebody, you know, yeah. like me, I, I feel sorry for you. And you support a, a president that's the biggest liar in the history of the United States, or pro- possibly the world. Right. Come on down to the Hop Knot at 1000 Elm Street, Manchester's premier craft beer and gourmet pretzel bar. Tell us more, Trudy. We make our dough fresh every day. We make a variety of styles of pretzels and serve craft beer, cocktails, and a few bottles of wine. We do the traditional pretzel, and we have multiple flavors for that. We also do stuffed pretzels, pretzel sandwiches, free dessert pretzels, and pretzel knots. The Hop Knot in the Brady Sullivan Plaza at 1000 Elm Street. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the best of Matt Connerton Unleashed, Volume 29. And this best of is special for a few different reasons. Number one, because we haven't done one in a while. Number two, it's the first best of, officially, of the COVID-19 stay-at-home era. (laughs) And number three, this is the first best of Matt Connerton Unleashed, to feature a specific theme. And the theme is arguments. You're going to hear some of the best arguments 
from the history of the show. Because what better way to calm your fears and soothe your worries in these challenging times than listening to people yelling at each other on the radio? (laughs) Uh, And this is only part one. So enjoy. And if you are just joining us, if you're watching online on the Facebook, on the Matt Connerson Unleashed Facebook page, you might notice I am wearing this lovely uh, goldenrod shirt. Um, actually, I'll even uh, I'll turn around for a second for those of you who are watching online so you can see the back of it. Well, there we go. So the back of it's got the big, big logo on it. The front's just got... Uh, you know, on the uh, on the pocket there, the small logo, which I love. I think that looks very classy. Have the big logo on the back, but have a small logo on the chest. So I was very happy to see this. Um, you know, uh, Peter White, uh, who uh, now would prefer to be known, I believe, as Goldenrod Peter uh, from listening to the morning show. Uh, he left me this this Goldenrod shirt, which I'm very, very happy about. And uh, let's see. We have our first call of the show. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Oh, hello. I uh, I wanted to apologize for earlier. Oh, oh, boy. I'm actually going to cut your uh, your theme music uh, short, Easy G, because if I if I I was kind of a jerk earlier. I I wanted to apologize. Easy G, yes. And in a moment, I'm going to play uh, exactly what happened uh, earlier, Easy G, when I called into the morning show, and you were very mean to me. <laughs> you were very mean, and were I capable? I, I blame I blame Daryl Dion and and uh, Peter Goldenrod Peter for rounding me up today. Yeah, and what would uh, the king of all farts, Their your fault. father, uh, say to I you? I still take blame, though. You do take the blame. What... They, they should take partial blame. Oh, oh, they should, should they? They're responsible for your actions and deeds and your insulting words and your hurtfulness and your cruelty? <laughs> Are they? Well, that's why I call the call up and say, uh, to blame them? sorry for what I said. Okay, even though it's not it your... It's a strong man to say they're sorry. Oh, and a self-congratulatory one, too, in this instance, apparently, EZG. Well, please, allow me to not only accept your apology, but congratulate you on your strength, because you're such a big, strong man. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, by, by the way, my boss heard the whole show this morning. Oh, your boss at he Greenland? Was quite interesting. <laughs> yes, yes. Your boss, uh, Nicole? My boss from the uh, Whom you uh, speak of, yes. But he's definitely he's definitely going to check into getting some shirts. Because Peter, uh, Goldenrod Peter and Daryl Dion said they would wear some official Creamland shirts on the morning show. Oh, oh, oh yeah, me too. Yeah, sure. So maybe we'll, I, maybe we'll, I can convince her and twist her around to get a shirt for you. Yeah. We'll, what size do you take, Matt? We're all going to totally do that. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, oh, I, I can uh, wear either a medium or a large. I'm flexible that day. It depends right, on my... Well, I'll uh, see if I can get her a large uh, Creamland shirt. Would you wear it on the air if I get you one? Oh, sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It depends on my water intake uh, that day, what size I wear. If I'm retaining water or not. You understand, easy G. I can barely hear you for some reason. Yes, I noticed that when I called I think the morning my show. To fall apart. It is difficult to hear. Yes, yes, but please, by all well, means, I'm going to try to get you one. Hopefully, you'll wear it on the air. Yes, hopefully you I will. Golden Rod, you just support the other store called Oh, Greenland. of course, yes, of course. Why wouldn't I? So I'll see what I can do to get you a oh. nice uh, free. Greenland shirt. When my boss says that her shirt is better than Golden Rod, <gasps> those are some big words. Those are some big words from your boss. <laughs> so on that note, I'll leave you and have a great show. <laughs> All right, Easy G. Thank you. All right. Well, that was nice. You know, uh, I've never. Uh, th- this is a unique experience for me. I've never had someone apologize to me and then, uh, in the same breath, uh, congratulate themselves for apologizing to me. That's uh. Uh, that's wonderful. I th- now that I'm thinking about it, though, I I I think that uh, uh, I saw on uh, like uh, Court TV or something. Is that even still a thing? Court TV? I think that's probably long gone. I think years ago I did see something once where uh, uh, someone had committed a terrible crime uh, against someone's family, and then uh, they they said to the judge, you know, I- I'm really uh, I'm really very sorry about this. And uh, by the way, it takes a, a very strong person uh, to apologize. So 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to play for you uh, in a moment. Uh, well, here, we'll, we'll introduce uh, our guests, and then I'll play for you exactly what it is that uh, happened on the morning show that EZG was calling to apologize for and then uh, congratulated himself uh, for apologizing for. But uh, the Honorable uh, Gary S. Hopper is here. Man, I didn't know you were going to be here. In my, I don't think my microphone's on. Yeah, it is. It is? Can you hear me? Yeah. I can't hear me. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. What's your name again? My name is Matt. Hey, I can Matt. hear you great. This is my friend Seal. Hi, Seal. Well, it's hey. not my friend. I actually just met him outside. I was panhandling again. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> so I was panhandling, and, and I was asking for money because I was hungry, and people look at my belly and just kind of laugh and walk on. He actually gave me a quarter and said, yeah, go call somebody who cares. So right. He was the first person to actually give me money today, so I thought I'd bring him up and do the show. I don't think you bit. can uh, call someone with a quarter anymore. <laughs> you can't. I don't think so, no. <laughs> Oh, all right. That's the truth. I would never Besides, lie about I, that. I, I would hope you would never lie about that. Uh, no. But, well, we might have to ask you more about that in a moment, but do you ever listen to the morning show? Uh, No. Uh, someone uh, terribly uh, hurt my feelings uh, this morning. Wait, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. When did you develop well, feelings? Here's the thing. Were I capable of normal human emotion, yes. I would have wept. Profusely. I would have wept a river. A river. I wow. Would have, I would have wept an ocean. Well, you got to keep your... Uh... Keep drinking some Powerade and stuff to make sure you don't dehydrate. Wait till you hear this. This was this was so I called in. I called into the morning show. Yeah, and this is what uh, this is what transpired. You will be aghast at what was spoken to me when I called the morning I don't show eat today. Beans. You will be aghast. Oh yes. Oh, that's different. Then. <laughs> yeah, yes. Through uh, this call. Good morning. You're on the air. Excellent. Good morning. It's uh, Matt Connerton. How are you? Oh, hi, Matt. Oh, hey, Matt. Good morning, Matt. Hey, Matt. How are you? Good, good. Hey, I'm very excited. I just woke up, and I uh, I, I was uh, looking at the Facebook Live video, and I love those shirts. Yeah, can you see Goldenrod on the back of my shirt? Oh, boy. It'll be yes. Co- it'll be coming. <laughs> oh, soon. magnificent. Because... Do, do I have one? Yeah, yeah, we got Absolutely. you one, too. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful! We all, I'm going to wear it everywhere. Yeah, we got it during the show. We got it. We got them for everybody. Well, oh, that is fantastic. Well, just, just me, because that Gary. is my favorite uh, place. Well, they were uh, not they, just my favorite uh, place to eat, but really just my favorite place ever. Uh, period in the history of my life. Wow. Okay. So and here's <laughs> strong the strong testimony. Th- these were complimentary T-shirts, by the way. Oh, good. Now, did he, did uh, EZG bring them in? Yeah. No, no. He's been having a hard time with it all morning. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that's. I thought maybe he brought them in because he's trying to get the job there. Because he'd probably rather work there than that other place. Perhaps. Right. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, what are you what are you going to do in October when the place closes? You're going to want to go well, down to Goldenrod and tell them you have some experience. And if they, if you're lucky, they may hire you. No, I'm not going. To that, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. Right. You can work there yeah. in the winter. Why Thursday, I'm going to the drop there to see what else is out there. Right. Well, not, Goldenrod will be there in case not, you want to get in the com- Goldenrod. I'm not confident <laughs> with the snow arena with their situation with the Monarchs closing. So right. 35 days. Well, Goldenrod, Goldenrod it is. Goldenrod, year-round employment, man. Yeah, it's too far, though. How would I get there? Well, you could take a bus. The bus goes out there. You know, the, the bus isn't available, so it wouldn't be a good thing. No, the bu- then Daryl lives right out there. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I can't rely on Daryl for rides every day. <laughs> right, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You got a plan for the future, EZG, when it comes to your career. Well, that's why Thursday I go into the job fair. So. All right. right. They might even. All let, right. They might even let. Well, you anyway, I'm very October. excited about these shirts. I'll let you guys go, but uh, oh, this is like the greatest day of my life. <laughs> All right, Matt. Well, you're thank a, you so much you're for. A, uh... You're a sorry life. Wow! Sorry, EZG. You're gonna pay for that at four o'clock. All right, guys. Take care. Can you believe that? The indignity. Can you imagine how hurt that I was? <laughs> no. Now, I, th- I can't. This... It's too, it's too, it cut too deep for me to really fathom. Right, exactly. I mean, this pain. And, and I do love this shirt, this goldenrod shirt. Now, EZG, of course, he gets defensive because he works at Creamland. Oh, but this is uh, this like a rival thing. But we're all, on. we're all wearing these goldenrod shirts because. Uh, first of all, uh, Goldenrod has bathrooms. At Creamland, you can't. Th- there's no bathroom to use. There's no public bathroom at Creamland. Right. <laughs> which which is ridiculous. It, it is, but 
I'm allergic to goldenrod. You're allergic to goldenrod? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like like goldenrod that uh, blows around in the air. That's what you're talking about, right? No. The no. fine. The, it's, a, it's a fine establishment. I even wrote a jingle for them. You did? I actually wrote a jingle for gold. Now, I haven't submitted it, uh, it uh, to them yet, but uh, let's see. I just got to find the music really quick. Um, I'm very excited to, to sing it because, uh, and maybe you can even, uh, you know, if you guys have any ideas for it, you can help me with it. But um, this will be my first time performing it with the uh, official Band? Goldenrod shirt. Right. You yeah. know, because Goldenrod, like I said, I mean, they have, um, oh, that's not the one I wanted. They, uh, they actually have a bathroom. I mean, can you imagine the indignity really- of going someplace with no bathroom? Uh, yeah. I would be full of rage. I walk down Main Street, all Elm Street a lot. There's no bathroom. I would be like, you serve me this food and this ice cream, and I have no place to evacuate my bowels. I, I, I would be enraged. Well, you'd be uncomfortable anyway. And that as I well. Know. All right, yeah. you, check so. this out. This is great. You're going to love this. Here it comes. You ready? I really like your food and your ice cream. So much better than Greenland. So much better than Greenland. And then it just kind of goes on for a while about how much I like it so much better than Creamland. Right. Yeah. 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 So Uh, there you go. So that's my jingle for Golden Rock. I don't know why they haven't uh, called you up and said, hey, no, we want to use this and uh, put it on, you know, all over different TV stations. Mm. Right. Well, that's why I haven't approached them. I'm waiting for can them you get, like, to come to me. Can you get like the recording, like that short recording of what you just did, so I can have it on my show tomorrow night? Oh, that's a great idea. It is a yeah. great idea. As long as you give me credit, I don't want them coming to you and being like, "Hey, the Honorable Gary S. Hopper, you got the guy that did the Goldenrod jingle?" I'll say, "Nope, that's me. That's me. I'll take credit." Oh yeah. I'm, well, as a politician, as you know, mm. I do take credit for everything. That is good. Well, it is part of the gig. Yeah. Right, pretty right. Much. Yeah. Like if it's sunshine out. Yeah, hey, that's, that's all you. That's you're all welcome. you. I'm thinking about adding a part two like, Golden Rod, I really like that I can use a bathroom and not go into the woods like some weird woods person after I eat there. There's no woods. There's no woods at uh, Creamland. Oh, no. No, oh, so you don't even have that option. No, what do you have to? What do no. you have to bring a bucket with you? That's, yeah, pretty much. That's disgraceful. I, I, I can't even believe it. You just have to finish your bucket of chicken quick enough so that. Oh, I see. Get it? So yeah, it's like so uh, basically they're recycling. So it's like dual purpose. Yeah, dual. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Right. Come on down to the Hop Knot at 1000 Elm Street, Manchester's premier craft beer and gourmet pretzel bar. Tell us more, Trudy. We make our dough fresh every day. We make a variety of styles of pretzels and serve craft beer, cocktails, and a few bottles of wine. We do the traditional pretzel, and we have multiple flavors for that. We also do stuffed pretzels, pretzel sandwiches, free dessert pretzels, and pretzel knots. The Hop Knot in the Brady Sullivan Plaza at 1000 Elm Street. Aren't you supposed to swear or no? Yeah, well, let's say it. Come and say it in person. Come say it to my face. I don't know who that is, and I don't care. You know, listen to somebody. You know, you're not, you're not just saying Lenny Bruce or something. And, you know, get a better routine. You know, grow up. Grow up. Live in the real world. Right? Right? I hate being bored. Jeez, how much dope have you smoked? I mean, you know. Oh, I know what's on the TV. If intelligence was electricity, this guy couldn't spark a firefly's ass.